It's hard not to get pumped up when you're hearing that music. It honestly is. Game sounds a little loud, so let me go ahead and take it down a bit. And there's the daughter. The cat is trying to maneuver its, itself in here as well. So, it's already a busy night. Good evening, everybody. You are gaming with the tea monster. Nice new setup here, and I am the tea monster. I am still the same old tea monster. Uh, but uh, as you can see, we are making some changes to the studio. Anyone want a hug? No. Hug. And <coughs> <coughs> and I'm pretty happy with the way it's looking. This this was the big project. The other um, uh, the the other the previous um, the the previous Saturday. <coughs> Basically, I set out. I set out to make sure that that um, that uh, I I finished this and uh, and the the back wall looks really nice. I've been I've been real happy with it. Nice little accent wall. So that's uh, that's 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 just again another step forward in you know giving the <coughs> channel a fresh new look and um, and uh, just just doing little things to try to make the uh, to make the, um, the 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 studio you know a, a little a little more a little more chill a little more a little more a um, little more with it oh right I was trying to figure out why uh, does she not have a microphone she doesn't have the microphone I don't have the microphone um, <clears throat> We had a few false starts uh, this this evening. First, it was it was, uh, yo dad, we got to do this. Yo dad, we got to have this. And You're I'm muted, like, by the way. No, I'm not muted, kiddo. You can't hear me. I don't have my microphone plugged in. So excuse me, a second chat as I reach in. Plug in my Shure MV51, and now my kid should be able to hear me. <laughs> yes. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's 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 uh, it's one of those things where. Instead of having one microphone, <coughs> because of the way PSN is set up. There's a delicate up, art to dealing with a troll. There, my yes, approach, there is. which is obviously the best approach, is to kill him with kindness, or I just mute the dumb f***s. There is that. <laughs> wow, Tech, I don't know of uh, anybody that, uh, that, that, that uses that, and I wish they would use it more often. It's very nice. Uh, Drafty, good to see you this, uh, <clears throat> good to see you. This uh, is this a j jar of shine? Wow. Um, I actually do have some jars of shine somewhere, but um, they they don't look like this. No, I'm I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it very, very um, very middle of the road. Uh, strictly strictly ginger ale. Strictly ginger ale. So let's get to it. <clears throat> but yeah, join joined up with a kiddo again. Um. It's been a been a pretty busy Monday. Hope you've had a good Monday yourselves. Um, and we are uh, it's the the kiddo is in the other room. The cat is in here. He is uh, he is debating about whether or not he wants to pop up or not. But for those of you uh, who are <clears throat> who are joining us tonight, it is a retro Monday. We are we are back in Destiny Year One, Destiny One, and uh, the kiddo and I are grinding through all the uh, original missions that uh, that I remember and where we left off we had just finished we had just finished uh, the dark below and we would love to have you in here thermal so before we get uh, before we launch in I think thermal thermal will be joining us that's thermal wolf from join last us. night join us join us thermal one of us one, one of, of us. us actually it was funny today I was in Target and uh, I was uh, I was wearing I was wearing my my um my this hoodie, which is my Val hoodie. And when um when I got in there, I heard I heard this this uh, this this young gentleman who was stocking the shelves. He was he was kind of giving me a fixed look over his mask, and he um he said to me, "Sir, I really respect your your hoodie." And I looked at him and I said, "Eyes up, guardian." And he 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 he, he gave me a nod. As you do, so guardians. Wait, we, which which um which one are you? This was this was in Target. Target. This was in Target. No, 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 like what are you? Oh, the hoodie. Which hoodie? Yeah. I was wearing the Val hoodie. 
Uh, it's 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 that the... doesn't. What? What? I I don't I don't understand what you mean by vow. What? Oh, okay. Um, this might have actually been pre pre pre, uh, pre sunny uh, entry into destiny. Um, the vow was a bow that was the quest for. Oh, yeah. the vow. The vow. Not the vow. Not V A L V O W. No. T H E. I thought you were saying. Yeah, T H E V O W. The vow. Yeah. yeah, I thought you were saying um, the vow, like A L. Oh no, I was I was not I was not naming a um, a uh, um, an obscure character from uh, from Fallen Mythos. It does sound like it does sound like so. Some of you would you would. We are we are going we are going into the court of the vow. Court of the Val. He, you know, he could have been like a minor lord in the in the fallen clans, for all we know. But you know, um, <clears throat> Maybe. what did I miss? What? So I was I was <laughs> I was telling a story, Thermal, that that um, I was in I was in Target and somebody recognized my hoodie yeah, as a Destiny hoodie, and um, and Sunny couldn't quite understand what I meant by the Val, and I was saying the Val, as in the bow, the Val. Yeah, yeah, because I, I, I think that was Crimson VAL. Days Year One. Yeah. That was Crimson Days. Yeah, that wow, Year One? Wow. I wow, I think you're right. Uh, Faster just said, can't catch your streams because you're either too late or too early. It's a mess, but you're here. Well, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're <laughs> here, man. Um, I, you know, I stream when I can. I stream when I can. I'm, um, uh... I'm nowhere near the the point where I could stream during the afternoon. Yo, Rach. Hey, yo. How are you? Good to see you, Rach. Hope you all had a nice Monday. Uh, it's been a it's been a good Monday here. Uh, been really productive. Oh, thermal. Before I yeah. forget, <clears throat> ask and ye shall receive. Oh. If you want to see it, and I'm kind of pleased because it's, it is it is getting some it is getting it's gotten nearly 50 views already. So I'm I'm oh, pretty wow. I'm pretty happy with that, but uh, uh, this is a full gameplay review of um, of the game that that Phil Rossi and I were playing a few nights ago. This is um, this is this is a uh, um, a highlight reel within a highlight reel, uh, but it's basically a video review chat of a new game that has just hit the market called Phasmophobia. And and I didn't realize this. I thought they were just doing a play on words, but that's really a thing. Phasmophobia is the fear of ghosts. But there's a phobia for everything. There's a phobia for everything. <laughs> but but in in phasmophobia, you basically are part of a um, of a um, of a ghost hunting troop, and uh, you're you're basically going on ghost hunts. And uh, Phil and I did this, and it was crazy pants terrifying, and. I won't lie, Phil Rossi, who has done a lot of different. <clears throat> there's actually the fear of, that that is a phobia of phobias. There, there really is a phobia of phobias. It's called the fear of yeah. everything. Um, uh, in fact, Lucy tells Charlie Brown what that fear is. I think in um, uh, uh, Charlie Brown Thanksgiving or one one of them, one one of the classics, possibly even um, possibly even a Charlie Brown Christmas. But anyway, uh, I digress. So. <clears throat> Phil, for those of you who who, um, who have watched Phil Phil uh, on stream before, Phil Rossi, uh, he is a um, he is a rock and roller. He's a he is a streamer. He's a really good guy. Um, Phil is also a very talented horror author. So staying on brand, Phil likes to play uh, horror games, in particular horror games that are that are uh, maximized for VR. And this is one of them. This is one that was built for VR, but you can still play it on PC. VR which, horror is amazing. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of stuff that Phil is finding is like obscure indie stuff coming out of Asia. That yeah. being said, that being said, knowing how twisted Asian horror can get, <laughs> he said he has never been more terrified than in Phasmophobia. And that's saying something. That is saying something. Um... Hey, how you doing, Steampunk Rick? Good to see you. Um, so, so, uh, so yeah. So, Phasmophobia. It is a ridiculously wacky game, and I, I was terrified. I nearly peed my pants when we played it. That being said, will I do it again? Thursday night, ten thirty. Thursday night, ten <laughs> thirty. 
and and here's the here's the thing. A, we're gonna have a third person join us, and B, I don't know if it's too late for you, but it is a PC game, Brandon. And if How you much does it cost? Right now it's on sale for like less than fifteen bucks. I'll look at it. And <laughs> and if you can join us, I know it's late, but I mean, it's a it, it, and I think what it is it's it's the it's the first. It's, it's, I think it's the first co-op ghost hunting game that you can do, and it I is. I think there's probably more. I have a Vive. I could play VR. <laughs> uh oh. But here's the and see here's the thing. It, 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 it's a bigger advantage to play it on the VR on on a VR set yeah, because you have a wider field of view. You have a wider field of view, and you also have uh, the ability to hold two things or multiple multiple items at once. Um, I don't have yeah. that. I can only hold one item at a time. So yeah, it can get a little dicey. Um, I was watching um, Video Game Diva play it, and holy Hannah, holy Hannah, she was running a tight ship. But I, I'm like, okay, that's th this is, th th this is this is definitely a game I want I want to I want to go on ahead and I want to I, I want to see if I can if I can uh, if I can hit that again because let me tell you I I made a scream chat. And again, for those of you who are new, who are new, in, in, who, are, who are who are who have just arrived, this is the full review of Phasmophobia. Uh, at that link right there, and all I can say is this chat: I made a scream that I know for a fact I could not replicate even if I tried. Um, it was it was ridiculous. Okay, so uh, but tonight tonight is Retro Monday. We are playing Destiny, the original. As you notice, me. Uh, thermal and sunny. All three of us have more or less the same ship. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we're at, and um, and it's been bringing back a lot of memories. We had just finished uh, the 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 dark below, and I believe now we're about to jump into House of Wolves. I think we're like one or two missions in. So right now we have to go to. Should be Scourge of Winter was the first one. Yeah, and uh, I think the next one is Akel Rising. That is what I have marked. Oh, level six, sure. level sixteen story. Uh. Yeah, that's what I have. Yeah. You I two believe... should be together. It's oh just yeah. It's a matter of me having done the right mission. <laughs> right, right, right. Because um, but we did we did do the first one. Um, so let's go on ahead and let's let's jump into this. Wait, where is it's on? Venus. It's on Venus. Venus. Yes. It's on Venus. So here we go. <clears throat> so here we go. Um, and uh, yeah, because the where where we 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 basically finished the the Black Garden, and what was even cooler was uh when 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 Sunny and I were in the Black Garden for the for what was supposed to be yes this is just this is Destiny Year One Zachary, and good to see you Pog <laughs> Pog. <laughs> Um, but what we were saying was that that when you're in the in the Black Garden for that first time at the end of Destiny One's original storyline, in the distance you can see the plateau that you cross during Garden of Salvation. So that was yeah. It starts in the the heart. Yeah. Garden yeah. of Salvation starts in the heart of the Black Garden. Yeah, and so it's been it's it, it's it's just nice being able to to run through this again, you know. All right, here we go. Why not take one of those heavy pipes first? I'm not a hunter. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> those heavy pikes come standard with mines. I'm not sure how to deploy them, though. I know how to deploy them. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. You, uh, you click one of the sticks. Ah, uh, I'm gonna guess it's R. I'm gonna guess it's uh. Yep, it's R3. Yep, yep. It's R3. <laughs> Either one of them. It yep. works for both. Oh, oh. All right. The wolves have control of the House of Winter's artillery. Take it out before right. they dig in. How do you fire? This is my question. Oh. Uh, R R one. R one is how you fire. Oh, the right okay. trigger. Woo. That's R two. Oh. oh, that's R two. I'm sorry. R two. Uh, oh. Well, I know, right? <laughs> no, I'm real low on health. <laughs> yeah, so am I. That's why. I'm, that's why I'm, I'm abandoning the. Uh, so I'm abandoning the pike. 
I'm horrible at controlling this. <laughs> Good news is we did a lot of damage to the to the uh, to the walkers, so there's that. Yeah, and there's still pikes. So. Yep, yep. I'm running bubble, just so you know. Uh, that is so weird to hear you say that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do in D2. Uh, oh, oh, okay, okay. As a titan, at least. Right. I'm kind of flexible with the hunter, but uh, this is very new. I think I much prefer this to sentinel, honestly. Oh. Oh. I was trying to use the the pipe. I got gotcha. you. Oh. No, uh, I got it. It's okay. Ow. So rude. <laughs> ow. <laughs> oh, I have no heavy ammo. That's why I can't uh, shoot a rocket. Usually, you need heavy <laughs> ammo. Do it. Yep. Yeah. Now, did I have? I don't. Oh, but I don't, I didn't have any. I didn't get any heavy synth. I keep forgetting, oh right, it's D1. We can do heavy synth if we want to. <laughs> that requires having it. Yes. Oh, but I do have this. I do have this. I've got a bubble if we need it. All I don't right. have weapons yet, so. It's just gonna be blessing of light. Yep, yep, yep. No worries. I don't, I don't think I don't think we need it because oh. it's almost dead anyways. I know. I'm just saying I have it. It's a lot easier to get your super in DE one. It is. Yeah. It is. I will say that's one thing I, that I I do like uh, about D one is the the super tends to be a little more. Um, yeah, everything feels faster in D two with like just overall, but then when it comes to abilities. The ability D1 still feels feel, overall yeah, way quicker, way, way faster, and more expendable. Honestly, because you can build them around being once in a while, as opposed to there we go once in a blue moon. Yep. <laughs> Again, like our conversation yesterday. I like our conversation. They're different yesterday. games. Yep. Yep. Oh, I forgot that she said that in the original. I forgot she said, I love field work. <laughs> That's right. I missed the jump. Oops. <laughs> it may be Skolas. <laughs> That is a different character. Oh, well, yes, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yes, of course. <laughs> you're you're right. You're right. But I just know how he says Skolas. <laughs> I like the way he says it. It's kind of like when yeah. people say John Shaft. It's Skolas. <laughs> All right. Hey, Look Skolas. It Look, it's Skolas. Hell of Kells. Hell of Kells. Wow, you guys are doing some heavy damage to yeah. the guy. And, oh. Barracks, get on the comms. What did he say? Yes, yes. There he is. Your tongue, he said. The wolves stand strong. Cower before the Kell of Kells. That just sounds like a big dick Hell energy Kells. move. <laughs> did he yeah. Have a <laughs> he named Petronite himself Kell of Kells. Oh, he sees himself as a prophet. As a prophet. This was the original Mad Bomber. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yo, nice bubble. There we go. Let's go. I think I'm running my, um, I think I'm running You're the, on Sunsinger, I believe. Yeah, Sunsinger, if I remember correctly. Yeah. That was where I last left off. <clears throat> so if you guys start getting low, just let me know. Watch your back. Oop. House banners. For the win. 
You mean like 500 Glimmer? Why? Oh, Twitch Bomber, why am I so fat? Because I gain a lot of I, I gain a lot of weight. There's a lot of calories eating your mom out, okay? You know? Um, uh... And on that note, hey, you know, it was fun while it lasted, but there you go. There you go. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Go amount to nothing like you were doing before. Yeah. Yep. Was that too harsh? Was that was that too harsh? Was that too harsh, Chad? Nah. I don't think nah. so. I don't if think so. If people devote their whole being <laughs> to just bombing your account, then God love them for it. God yeah. love them for it. <laughs> Katie, you want the Scorch Cannon? Scorch Cannon. Um, I don't know. Uh, Sonny, why don't you take the honors? There you go. Have a Scorch Cannon. Have a Scorch Cannon. Let's see. Oh, there he is. Hey, Reaver. Go. Ben Hammer needs blood from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Uh, that that that. Uh, I appreciate that. Ooh. Oh. go I remember very little chat just so you know I remember very little about House of Wolves um if yeah, I remember same here yeah I, if I, the the thing if I if I remember correctly it was more or less the DLC that was wrapped Ow. around uh, prison of elders if I remember correctly um was it I can't remember I think so I mean, uh, I know that... I, I think that's what unlocked the, uh, the Queen's Wrath, um, reputation. Ooh. Oh, okay. You're right. How so? Define interesting. Is that the same kind of interesting as, oh god, oh god, we're all gonna die? Is that how that works there, uh, Noob? I'm up in three. I'm up in 19, so... Mm. Fuck. Go up here. That's cool. Woo! I got you, T. Close call. Thank you, sir. Nope, I need special. Watch your back. I need special. Come on. Come on. Up. Oh, he's behind you. He was behind you. Ooh, Ooh ah, hello. Shit. Ah, yikes. <laughs> Still was behind me. Yeesh. And now he's oh, behind you. Now he's behind me. <laughs> we are just trading, That's aren't we? <laughs> Wait, you, you, you busted a drug deal. While getting breakfast at a Wendy's. Um, oh. noob, you know what? I would not call that interesting. I'd call that multitasking. That's what I'd call it. Oh, good That's grenade. It's called Monday morning. Yeah, <laughs> Monday morning. <laughs> Al? A repeater I shank? I really low. A I repeater yeah, so shank. I. Stand still, stand still. Oh, I got it. Makes things easier. I'm beginning to remember how much fun Sunsinger can be. You just have, I just have to remember <laughs> how to use it and how it works. I never Don't quite. Worry. No, I, no one knows. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but I can do this. I can pop it again and go. Hey, here. You have a grenade, and you have a grenade, and you they have a grenade. I just like my bubble, man. Yeah. Get in my bubble. I need the helmet 14 in here. There you go. Get in my bubble. There you go. Out. Was in line, put the spotlight on him, and behold, all was revealed. Yikes, man. That's amazing. Heck of a, heck of a way to start a day. <laughs> For a moment, I detected Vex energy all around the site. As Taser one, bad guy none. Ouch. Nice to meet a guy. That's, that's, a, that's a tough way to start a day, too. I mean, you know, with, a, with, a, with, a, uh, with, with getting tased. I mean, that's just a rough way to start a day. All right. I think that went rather smoothly. I would agree. Yes. yes. Minus the fact that we almost wiped twice. <laughs>
You, 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 you're very good, you. All right. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a that sounds like a busy morning. Sounds like a busy morning. Oh my god, just seeing just seeing these little things pop up, it just just brings back so many nice memories. So many nice memories. Holding your breath, what you know. Hmm. And Sonny, it was very much like this whenever it was me and and Nick running the game. Um, I would have a, I would have a, you know, I would have a few decent numbers. Nick would have decent numbers, and Brandon would be roughly double to triple. So you know, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't wait. You mean to tell me you busted you busted somebody for at you know at the Wendy's drive through, and Wendy's didn't comp you like a meal or something. You didn't Bruh. even get your food. Oh, that 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 sucks. That sucks. I I I'm call shenanigans. I'm doing Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look! If someone's gonna sue McDonald's over over uh, over overly overly brewed coffee, you should sue for that. You know. Welcome to I mean, McDonald's well, over their stupid have, ice they had, cream machine. They had a valid excuse because, like, their Welcome entire like well, freaking leg had, was they burned. They had, they had but still, they could have waited. Because, like, their entire, oh, like, there we go. I was like, where's that coming from? Oh, it's coming from me. All right. <clears throat> so real quick, let's um let's look at the upgrade options in Sunsinger. All right. So I can do focus control for better glides. And it looks like that's it right now. That's that's it. And then I've got some upgrades. I can get uh oh, increase the upgrade. Hey. Now I'm 123, and it was my ghost that was holding me back. Who would have guessed? <laughs> Old habits, man. We gotta we gotta relearn them. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta pay attention to our ghosts now, man. <laughs> that, you know that was the one thing that was holding me back from 400 originally. Really? It was the oh, ghost. Yeah. Oh, I had man. to grind crucible because it was the only thing that I needed, and I knew it would drop at 400 if I got it from Shax. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Yep. So I was trying to figure out what was going on, like like like. My, my, I had the fusion rifle that I was, that I was rocking in there. It was making like a weird noise, and then I realized it's because it's a, uh, it's a, it's a hive weapon. It's called murmur. Oh. And yeah, uh, yeah, you get it for finishing dark below. Yep, yep, yep. It, yep. It's a nice auto rifle, but it's okay. No. It looks like dollar store necrochasm. It does. It does. Yeah. It does. It does look like a, <laughs> like a discount necrochasm. So that now, but that is cool. Um, uh, Noob just went said he went back for lunch and they 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 did comp him the meal, so you know oh, good. That's, that's that good. that's that's good that's good, that's worth that's worthwhile. All right. How do you have the most power level? I'm kind of surprised by that. How does who have like the, the most light power? level? It's light luck. Level. <laughs> he also doesn't delete anything. True. Who, with me? <laughs> you. you. Oh yes. Yeah. I. I, 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 uh -huh, I you're postmaster. I, I, well, okay, okay. I can actually, I can actually legitimize that. There was a time where I deleted everything, and I like had, uh, literally, I had maybe two weapons here, three weapons here, and like two weapons for my, for my, for my, uh, my, you know. And then I went on a raid with Z, and Z was like, "Do you have this weapon? No. Do you have this weapon? No." So he was like, what do you have? And I and I mentioned like two weapons of my primary and he was like, and? and I said, I don't have anything else. And he was like, okay. And I was like, oh, shoot. And now I'm afraid to I'm now I am now literally a little paranoid and a little afraid of dropping anything yeah, because but now you, you can know delete what blues. You need. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's true. You, you don't need to hoard then, blues though, unless you're a hunter, which look for those war mantis. <laughs> Is that what's dropping ridiculously? Did you wait? Have you seen my war mantis? Yeah, it's super high. It yeah, like yeah. Dead. Isn't it recovery or something, right? Yeah, forty, and it's masterwork that's, too. That's insane. Nah, that's nice, nice. Standard shell versus redux shell. Okay, I'll do the one. For, okay. After seven years in law enforcement, you get so losing your money on food and having to jump up. Some places are good. Others try to kick you out because you have a gun while in uniform. Wow, I'm I'm kind of surprised by that. I'm kind of surprised by that because I while I don't, I mean not 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 to not to start going into that discussion. While 
I feel nervous around people who have a weapon strapped to their side, uh, as in exercising their Second Amendment right. If you're a member of law enforcement, that's fine. That's yeah. that I'm I'm okay with that. I remember the first time I saw it, I was like, whoa. But I was like, well, it's a, he's a cop, or she's a cop, so it's no big deal. I do remember when I saw my first civilian non-law enforcement person with a gun strapped to their side, and I'm just like, I am insanely nervous about that. And I, I you know, it was one of those one of those things. But um, when it's I law don't enforcement, trust America. Look, <laughs> <laughs> I laugh because. I, I'm, I'm kind of, I, I kind of understand where you're coming from on that. Okay, I think we need to go and talk to Petra. I think that's the next step. Yeah. That was the next step? Yeah. Yeah, all right. But, um, but yeah, I, um, I mean, because I feel like at least with, at least with law enforcement, I don't have a problem with, with people having, having weapons on, uh, you know, strapped to their sides because they're law enforcement, which means they've had some degree of training. There's some people that that have access to, to weapons on the civilian aspect, though, that they their their definition of training is wide. From they've actually taken classes in in uh, in in maintenance of weapons to well, my grand my grandfather showed me how to, how to shoot how to shoot a BB gun. So that's how that, that and that's the extent of my knowledge. So you know, um, but I'm glad that even though it was a it was a weird morning noob, I'm glad you got lunch. And I'm glad I'm glad you're okay. First and foremost, I'm glad you're okay. But that's a heck of a way to start off a morning. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So Rick, what you're seeing here, just so you know, what you're seeing here is the original Destiny. This is this is Destiny Year One. And you can see how different of a game it was. Very. <clears throat> Let's get them moving, Garden. Well, there you go. Hopefully that mud will yeah, come remember out. When, remember when Master Ives died during Festival of the Lost? Yes. What? Yeah. The Crypt Ark and the Reef died during the last Festival of the Lost, and that was the whole point of the quest. Yeah. I got the, I got the... Yeah, like literally no one remembers him. And yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> and they he were like, guess died. what? And he's gone. Yeah. He's yeah. Never how seen do him you again. get? How do you get more reputation? Oh, bounties. Yeah, bounties. Where do yeah. I get bounties? <sighs> well, well, welcome to D1. Welcome to D1. Usually it's the people <laughs> with the, uh, the the exclamation points over their head. Um, I think it's Varix bounties. I think Varix. I think Varix bounties. Ew, stinky Varix. Right. I'm kidding. <laughs> Corsair's badge. Yeah. The fuck? You could, you could always off. talk to Brother Vance. True. Who doesn't sound as oh, creepy. He doesn't sound as creepy. Yeah, because he's not a primary character. Yeah. <laughs> All right. These the abandoned quests. I think oh wait a minute! Quests. Hang on a second. Hang on. Hang on. I just noticed something about the guy, um, the other, uh, the other, the other, um, uh, Cryptarch here. Ma Master Ives, the guy who I just named. You just named. Yeah, exactly him. <laughs> Hang on a minute. I want to. I just. I just noticed something about him. That's the same guy who voices Devrim. <clears throat> Is it? Listen to his voice. Wait. Listen to his voice. Uh oh. I Wait. like how we both <clears throat> just run over to him. <clears throat> Listen to his voice. I think it's modular. Oh my god, oh my god. you're god. right. Yeah. Well <laughs> so now we know what happened. Mas same thing with The Rock. Master Ives was replaced by Devrim K. So That's Q crazy. So Q huh. QAnon's got to get on that. <clears throat> oh my god, we're all exos. Yeah. Exo vibe club. All right. Funny. Funny how that works. Funny how that works. Randy, hey, how are you? Good to uh, see you. Good to see you. <laughs> so let's see. Is it? Is he the one? Oh no, Varix does not have uh, bounties either. Yeah, I don't know where. I don't know if you can get bounties <clears throat> at the moment. Do you think you have to be forty? Yeah, probably not. Oh, and to get uh, yeah. To, uh, so let's see. So let's see real quick. What the next? <laughs> Imagine not having any emote. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so patrol Venus and collect fallen shiplinks from fallen vandals. So here's where the grind begins because 
Let That's me see how my memory serves me. Patrol Venus can collect fallen ship links from fallen vandals. We have to pick up a hundred of these. <clears throat> Whoops. Hey, Marvinsky, how are you, sir? I fell Good into an engine. You. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. <clears throat> so we just had a big revelation here, Marv. Um, <clears throat> we have discovered that the same voice actor who does Devram K is the voice Sonic actor Miller. is the is the, is the same voice actor behind Master Ives. Listen. Oh, well, Warlock. Yeah. I need a little more from that there, but anyway, it's Sonny, true. Sonny, Sonny, come here. Is uh, yes. That's not me. Oh, no, no that's me. <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna try to Are you gonna try to get uh, Sunny to find the uh, the lost ghost that's in the pipes underneath here, or are you going oh, taking her up the, there? The one above. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I forgot about the one above. <clears throat> See now, Sunny, what what uh, what what Thermal is doing is is he's taking you on on, a, on a um, on an adventure. Follow the pipes and then up yeah. to the little fallen cache thing. Oh my it's god, I hate jumping in the tower. It's like... Uh -huh. Oh, I see it. Yep. I think I see it, yeah. <laughs> you there standing you there pushed me off. I didn't, I wasn't close <laughs> enough. <laughs> but the, these things, these things, Sunny, were... Oh, wait, how do you do... How do you... you can't okay. jump, you can't be like directly on it. You have to step back a bit. Uh, on the, the banner. No, uh, the, uh, <laughs> no. The wrong direction <laughs> entirely. <laughs> oh. Oh, like onto the little. Onto the yeah, onto the banner thing. It's a yep. it's there's a platform on top. It's not a tiny oh, little platform. Oh, thing. I see. I yeah, see. Yeah, I yeah. see. There it is. There it is. You got it. Oh. Ha, I got it. I got, got it. Oh, you got right. it. Great. Yeah, it is. Sweet. There's another one, and I don't remember where. It's, it's hanging off of something. It might be. It might be this, this thing. But if I remember correctly, there's also one. There's also a real tricky one to find. It's. I um, hear it. I think it. I think it. Oh wait, no, that's the ghost. Yeah, it's under under the catwalk, and and you have to hit it at just the right angle. I'm just trying yeah, to remember. I don't remember where it is. It's not. It's not this catwalk. There's. Like, I think it's that like support beam over here this is the only thing under the catwalk wait where, where is it over here yes it is i remember yeah oh it is. yeah it's right there it's right there i see it i see it yep. i see it yep just wait, like that so look oh. at that look at that boom big brain look at that okay i'm gonna carefully balance myself i can't believe i still remember these dudes <laughs> There are some that I remember. I, I can't even remember what I had for breakfast. <laughs> oh I no! I panicked. I got onto it and then it panicked. That was that was that was pretty epic though. That that was an epic tumble. Um, but no, it was really kind of cool. Uh, but th there are some that I remember very vividly, and um, oh. and this was, there's, yeah. There's yeah. one in like the back room on Venus in a sink, and that's all I remember. Yep. 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 No. <laughs> He shall return. Why did that look like Sundance? Right? Mm -hmm. Uh oh. No, it was never on PC. It, it was, was never foreshadowing. It was never on PC. This is uh, this has always been a a, a console game. Okay. Yeah. All I right. am ready. All right. If Welcome we are... to the Eververse before Fenchurch went before, missing. Before Fenchurch went mysteriously missing, and uh, yeah, and uh, <laughs> and her and 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 her rose garden suddenly began to bloom. Very strongly, all of a sudden. All right, so that's let's, um, like a euphemism. Yeah, not a euphemism. Okay. Get your groove on. Get your groove on. So anyway, I'm, exo. <laughs> I'm do the robot. Okay, so we're heading to Venus, <laughs> and now we're gonna. Um, oh, just small. Yeah, yeah. He's saying hi. He's <laughs> saying hi. He's saying hi now. All right. And I, I think it, yeah, here we go. Patrol Venus. Um, pretty much as, as simple as it sounds. Um, but this is where it all happened. 
um, Rick. And what's also pretty neat about going back here is that um, I've, I've managed to not only catch a lot of details that sadly went missed, I also have been introducing Sonny to the way we played D1 back in the day pre-D2, which uh, was a very different experience. Um, and uh, and it, it's, it's just been fun. It's been fun introducing her to this. I mean, and I, I didn't realize how much I missed Venus. I mean, I yeah, I just, I mean, I just... It, Venus the, is so good. It's such a great map. I mean, look at this. It is. Look the at Ishtar Collective is so neat. It is. It's very cool. Your call, Guardian. Okay. Also, I love that when you first get into a patrol zone, your ghost asks what you want to do. Yeah, exactly. It's right. so nice. All right. So Why does my chair keep turning? I don't like it. Oh. I'll get us a mission. There is much to claim here. Clear the enemy, and new monarchy will do the rest. Ew, new monarchy. monarchy. Thank gonna, you, new monarchy. Gonna need more bullets. So now we just cruise for, yeah, we just cruise for, uh, for, for, for bad guys. Just cruise for bad guys. I do love how patrols in this game don't have to be area locked. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you cover a lot, a lot of ground. Yeah. I think that would, you, you know, Marv, I think a remaster of D1 would probably happen near the end of, uh, D2? Of, of, of the D, of the D2 run. I think they would do it, you know. But we're already getting Cosmodrome. Yeah, we're getting a new Cosmodrome, which should be great. And then Vogue, meaning that they're planning on bringing a lot of things. Yeah. I, I am. found a uh, thingy. Fallen Shiplinks is what we need for the quest, I believe. Yep, yep, yeah. Fallen Shiplinks. Fallen Shiplinks, there we go. Ooh, hey tell dude. The small I, tell, tell the small I say hi. I will. Because I can I hear will. him. Oh, teamwork. teamwork makes the dream work. There we go. Well, that had to ruin their day. <laughs> I'll make sure the city hears. Yes, patrol Venus and collect fallen shipments from fallen vandals. How many queen, do we have to collect? Like 100. It's, it says 100. And that's, that, that, see, that was the other thing. Um, they were very big. There wasn't a lot of percentage-based thing. No, no. The grind felt... Um, I Real. mean, it, it did. It, it felt just as grindy, you know, as, uh, but I, I also, I did forget, I did forget that, uh, that, yeah, we, um, your, your power level is also based off of your, your, your ghost has a play, has a, has a more or less a say in that. Well, they're like sort of bringing that back. They have like mods. They're going to be putting mods now on ghosts. Yeah, but it's not a online. power level thing. Yeah. It's yeah. Just a, they'll be essentially the same as they were just. They're just giving armor 2.0 treatment oh, yes. to ghosts, right? Which is amazing. Oh. I won't lie, but it's, <laughs> it's still different from D1. Okay, kill fallen and recover shock cores. All right. You mean those shock cores? There we go. I like how we both just went in like completely different directions. Yeah, <laughs> as you do. Yeah. All right. Oh wow! Remember when? Remember when? Uh, when grenades actually did damage? Wow, that's just—it's it's awesome. It's awesome to have that again. <laughs> grenades, grenades still deal do more damage. damage. Yeah, they definitely deal a lot more damage than most things. But you think? I I always felt. Why like, is there? I always felt like that the, the grenades were, were were more powerful in in D uh, in D one than in D two. At least that Everything feels like it hits harder in D1. Well, there is that. that. There is that. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. You make a fair point, though. Why are there Taken spawning here? Because it happens oh. everywhere. After Taken King, it started yeah. kind of doing that. But we haven't done Taken King yet. After Taken King came out, it started doing that. Yeah. Oh, there's a Taken <laughs> Lieutenant. Because they were so. like, ah ha ha, Taken. And then. Ha <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Taken go burr. Where is the freaking? I just think I just wasted my super. I just wasted my super. Oh dear, felt that. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. 
Hunter right. life. <laughs> Warlock life, best life. Okay, we got to do this. I no. just, I'm just going to get this out of the way. The timed mission. These fell beasts harness a powerful energy Is this the timed one? The Running range. Yeah. You need to collect the charges. Yep. Infiltrate the area and gather sand. These ones are always interesting. Yeah. Not exactly fun, but... <laughs> but interesting. Yeah. yeah. They're cool. Yep. Two eighty six. Oh, that's right. And if you pause, the charge starts going down. That's right. Mm -hmm. I remember now. Oh, I remember now. Oh, make it stop. All right. No, don't make it stop. That'll make us lose progress. That's true. Up uh, oh, there it is. Charge accumulated. Boom. Wait. Oh, and that gives us. And we can get Control Spirit early. Bloom. Vanguard XP. And Yay. hey, Vanguard rank one. Let's go. Nice. That should give you, yeah, Vanguard reputation and then whatever faction you're in. Oh, we haven't done the faction yet. You can do it from the beginning, so. Oh, I would. That. Yeah, I'm already in dead orbit. <laughs> oh, of course you are. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> listening to your Morrissey and your nihilistic poetry. I understand. I understand. Hey, man. Lincoln Park. <laughs> <laughs> Park was ahead of their time. <laughs> Don't forget to collect spirit bloom. You never know when you're gonna need it. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Oh. Makes me wonder if they're bringing that spin metal in a uh, Beyond Light. Oh, wouldn't that be wouldn't that be great? Yeah. Well, I, would I assume they are. Yeah. Because everywhere else has a planetary resource. Yeah. Might as well. Might as well. All right. A taken lieutenant. A take taken lieutenants are slain. We need. So we need more, um, we need another patrol. Do you guys Yeah, that was me. I was taking, I was killing the taken lieutenants. Oh, okay. We're in a different area. Oh. <laughs> there he is, T, up there. Up. Behind you. Behind me? Whoa. Big ass minotaur. Oh, yeah, I see it. I was trying to, I was trying to go after, uh, patrols. Did he just... Okay. That was weird. You alright? <laughs> I'm very confused as to what just happened. Yeah, you want to bubble? I can bubble too, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you you know when they start whipping out the bubbles, that's when that's when shit gets real. That's oh, yeah. when shit gets real, chat. Uh oh, ow. ow! I thought you were with me. Hang on. Marv, just because Vogue is coming back doesn't mean Venus is coming back. Vogue is Whoa. Uh, the vault is outside time and space and can be accessed oh. from any Vex gate. We'll find out. Either way, we will find out. Either way, we will find out. Really hope this works. All right, it worked. It did. All right, now I'm gonna go and. Um... <laughs> Yeah, we all want Venus back. <laughs> I'm just trying to knock your hopes down because you're just being a dick. <laughs> all right. I have left. I have left the play area. Uh, by the way, Thermal, I am. Uh, I am off to find um, more patrols. Because I couldn't find any other patrols there. You're just gonna leave me with the Taken. See what you did. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we get to do it again. We get to do it again. Oh my god. Good news is over here they got Vex. So, you know, there's that. Ooh. Oh, That's kind I, of against what we need. Now I have your attention. Wait, is oh, it you're right. account linked? Or is it like over, like, or is does it count for everyone in the fire team when they pick up some? Well, when, well, when, you, when you do... Um, the first one. Yeah. Everyone could pick up separately. Oh, so it doesn't count if you're in a fire team? What do you mean? Like, for, um, picking up the fallen ship links. Like, if yeah, I Yeah, they're individual. Some... Oh, that's ass. No, I'm it's D1. D1. <laughs> D2 was basically just a quality of life switch. <laughs> <laughs> they were just like, yeah, you know what? Let's make this easier. Let's make this easier. 
Let's get How rid of Endgame. How many do you guys have? <laughs> Alright, let me do this real quick, though. Let me, uh... Uh, 88. Let me abandon the objective. There we go. Please do. Oh, I only flux. have, like, 50. I have 52, so... Yeah, same. Oh, uh, you guys are behind. Yeah, working on it. <laughs> okay, so that way was Vex, and that is not what we need. We need Fallen. Um... Did you leave me with the Vex? No, I did not leave. Oh, uh, if you're back at the... <laughs> yeah, I think I did. It's not nothing personal, Brandon. I mean, we're just not... We're just not communicating as well as well as well as we we should. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. It's just a survey. Thing. All right. Perfect. Wait, do you get some from completing patrols too? No, it's just if you kill fallen vandals. Oh, okay. That's the whole point of the quest is that you have yeah. to kill fallen vandals. And yeah, kill fallen vandals, and and basically you do that by being in patrol areas, etc., etc. Yeah. All right. Let me head over to where you are, Sonny. Oh, come on. There we go. Give me my 160 sparrows. <laughs> the sparrows, I will say, the sparrows do feel a wee bit sluggish compared to... This one, the, the starter sparrow is 132 speed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> You'll get the 160, but it'll take some time. Yeah, but this one also has the horn. I've missed the horn. Yeah! I totally... I totally forgot about the horns. Bring sparrow horns back. If I, you don't bring I, back SRL bungee, just bring back just the sparrow bring, just horns. Just bring back the sparrow horns. Oh, I got an upgrade unlocked. Oh, damn. Alright, these are all falling. Why aren't you guys dropping them things? Alright. Oh, there it is. There's one. It's gotta be vandals only. Yeah, vandals. Thing. Vandals, that's right. As soon as those words left my mouth, it's like, are you killing the right kind of fallen? Hey, 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 hey! Stop leaning on that horn there, buddy! <laughs> <laughs> and then they, they, this is what... the Doppler effect. Yeah. <laughs> it got lower in pitch as you went further away. And this is why, this is why, Bungie, because people were just doing that. They were just acting like, a, like, obnoxious twats. Just yeah. like leaning on that horn. But that's why you have a horn, man. There we go. There we go. Alright. We still haven't scouted the battlefield yet. <laughs> I'm I'm going, I'm going, I'm just killing enemies. Right. Ah. And as I as the <laughs> the, jo the joke that never got old in D1. When we come under here, we, we're going towards the Ishtar, and we just look around and we go, this is the worst server room ever. Who would let a server room get this damp? I swear to God, I'm going to I'm going to write a letter to management. This is bad. This is bad. HR is going to know about HR's this. HR is going to... We're going to complain to HR. <laughs> there it is, the Ishtar Collective. I do love it. How are we doing? Yeah, 76 out of 76 out of 100. Not bad. Not bad. I'd love to see Venus remastered. I would love it. If you go to the cave where Fallen set up shop, there's a catch full of Fallen. I'm trying to remember yeah, where that is. Yeah, it's back where we were at the very oh, beginning. There's right. the catch but that you do for mm -hmm. House of Winter. Right. I'm pretty amazed you you remember that too. <laughs> I mean, we just did the we just did the mission. Ah, uh, that's true. That's true. All right. There should be a vandal out here. Yep, two of them. There, no one. I'm a coming. There's only one left. Yep. Nope. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Hey, hey, buddy, hey, buddy! <laughs> you reminded me sparrows have horns. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be we'll be here all night, chat. We'll be here all <laughs> night. Oh wait, there might be. Oh, I think there's one. <laughs> Boom! There we go.
Perfect. I just threw my grenade on accident. Yay. Huzzah. Oh, I chest. Had an ED out of chest on me. I'm coming. I'm just making my way downtown, mm -hmm. walking fast. You're not going that fast. Nope, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> So chat, good Where's evening. The... Uh, so so um, you come on. Oh, live. Yep. Your name blends in with you know the fact that it's Venus and oh. all Venus. Ah, that that that'll do it. But chat, for those of you who are, oh, that had some ship there's, links in it. There's I... also a ghost here. Oh, what? Where? Uh, I think here. And it's in one of these cards. Oh, I'm not gonna see it because I already, I probably already got it. Chances are high. Chances are high. I believe it's in this car. If it's not, check here. It's in this one. Yeah. Where did you um, say the chest was? Oh, I didn't have this one. Cool. Oh. I got it, it now. Over here. Might have, might have, might have despawned. Oh. Um. What is that? <laughs> oh my God. Angry taken. These, these taken. I swear to God. Angry boys. Angry boys. Proud boys. Proud boys. That's a, that's a, that's who the taken are. Or proud boys. I can't wait for the dreadnought, dude. Oh my god, the dreadnought. That'll be fun. <laughs> That'll be fun. All right. Uh, do we have any more patrols or anything, or do we want to head back to get that to get that catch, or do we need uh, it? I still I still need to get um, the. I still have like, uh, buy if I were to get oh. kill five more vandals, then I would get it. Oh yeah, yeah. No, it's not grounded, Jedi. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just killing these Taken that are spawning over here so the Fallen can respawn. <laughs> That's going to take too long. Just come over yeah. here. Yeah, come on, come, on, come on over to where we're at. All right, Brandon. I you, just, you brought this okay. on yourself. You brought this on yourself. <laughs> 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 Where are you, kiddo? Still over here. <laughs> this is Luxemi two of the future war course. There I'm you are. Here. Mm. You're gonna take forever to kill this taken. Sonny, let it go. Just let it go. Let it go like Elsa and follow oh us. Yep. Oops. You know what? You know what? <laughs> beep beep. Nah. <laughs> Are you just come on? Beeping him? Come on. Uh, where where did you want to take her, Brandon? You want to take her back to where we back were? Back to the catch, because it would have yeah. been the easiest yeah. place to get yeah. fallen kills, and she's still fucked. trying to kill these taken. Oh, I killed a bounty. I got Sunny. a bounty done. Well, great, but that's you're you're <laughs> you're, you're, you're you're getting you're you, you need to focus. You need to focus. You need to focus. I got a bounty done. I'm I'm thrilled. Daddy's thrilled for you. Now get on your freaking sparrow <laughs> and follow Brandon. That way we can finish this part of the quest. Pardon us, playing through. Pardon us, playing through. There's a vandal over here. Why? Did you because there are more vandals over here. It's still a vandal. I swear to God, cat. You need to stop doing that. I'm a cat. No, I'm talking. I'm talking to. I'm talking to. Um, I'm talking to to Benedict. He's um. He's he's. <laughs> he's being very. He's being. He's being very. Uh, uh, very interactive. He's trying. He's trying. He's trying to start his own uh, Twitch stream. It was a feature Jedi in uh, in in D one, where you could get for your sparrow a custom horn, um, and there were there were there were there were quite a few different horns you could get. Yeah, Taken King gave. Sparrow horns, and it was the funniest thing. Oh, it was ridiculous! It was absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Did you see that? The this the um the what's it called? The fucking the the boy, the drag was stuck on my sparrow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> poor guy. Fuck. 
dodge. I forgot, this is not D2. Yep. Remember, no pl no, uh, no clamber. platforming, no clamber. <laughs> There we go. All right. Good shot. Good shot. Okay. You would sub to Benedict? Well, that's the thing. Tier 2 subs, you un you unlock this emote. Just saying, Rach. The Tier 2 subs unlock this emote, which is my Lurk emote, which turns out is Benedict's. Okay, did everybody get their, uh, get what they needed? Yeah. Sunny? Yeah. All right. Then we are going to talk to Barracks. Oh, we're going to Dog. talk to Varix. Yes. I am in Brandon's bubble. That's not weird. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I find it quite inviting. <laughs> well, only 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 a tier two, Marv, can you sub to Benedict. <laughs> oh, funny. Funny. Oop, more upgrade options available. Well, oh, that's right. I upgrade. Woo! All my armor upgraded. Let's see. Uh, upgrade defense increases defense power, allowing this armor to absorb more damage. Okay. And then there was Locust Watcher Two. Increase re reload speed and oh, increase. I'm, I, I, I'm assuming these these traits stack. Yes. Yeah. As long as they're in the same weapon or armor piece. Or armor piece, right. Increases the amount of auto rifle ammunition you can carry. No, Benedict is going to stream and be internet famous. Don't waste your mats on that shit. <laughs> I know. Uh, oh, oh, you're on um, all my materials. Oh, you're okay. Sorry. Uh, you're right. You're right. You're right. I probably shouldn't be. It's doing that. like 25 glimmer. No, no. He's not talking about the glimmer. He's talking about the armor materials, which he has a, he has a point with. It's, it's, it, wait, he's, got okay. a, he's got a point. I'm just playing around with this. I'm just trying to remember. The the, the thing is, though, Marv, you got to remember, this is D1, and I'm trying to remember all the ins and outs and, and little bits about about how this stuff works. Um, I know it's kind of, it may, it may be, it may be um, a moot point because D2 is going to, is going to work this way. But uh, from what Stasis looks like, Stasis may be going back to this tree style uh this tree style of customization so i just want to it play seems around like a mix it is it, it, it yeah. probably is yeah but um I, I picked up a lot of stuff there um ooh, 135 i'll throw that on um what you, you're looking over your shoulder at me what do i need to be petting you is that what is that what i need to do clearly 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 oh big stretch I'm glad I don't have the cat camera like right on your butt. That that I appreciate. That I appreciate. <laughs> All right. All right. I think I have a I think I have an engram for a uh, for a heavy weapon that is probably a machine gun. I'm just saying. Um but instead we are going to we're going to Varix. Yes. Out in the reef. Yeah, that we went, you know, back in the day we didn't have the dreaming city. We had the reef. But you know, it was funny. Yeah, I was irritated because I was like, "Oh, it's like, oh, oh, it's gonna be like its own area." But no, oh, it's just like the farm. And I was like, "Are you kidding me?" What the reef? Yeah. Oh I no, it no, 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 no. Like little the reef, exploring area. The reef. There's a reason to go to the reef. The yeah. farm is the same thing as the tower. Yeah, yeah. True. And 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 the farm, they stop sending people to the farm, whereas the, you know, whereas the reef, they constantly kept sending you back and forth to the reef. Which is one of the things that I liked. I really liked being able to go to the reef, and um, I have quite a few screen caps of uh, of my characters at the reef. I, I loved the reef, um, but I but I think I think Marv is right. I I would love to see a remastered PC version of Destiny One, but I don't think it's going to happen until they're getting ready to wrap up everything. And you know, you know, once also, they're saying this um, is the last bit. Also, it's owned by Activision, so they well. Destiny One isn't Destiny. I think so, unless they don't own. Yeah, no, it's per it's part of the contract, isn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah. Unless it's not, then. When you start up, it still says Activision, doesn't it? No. Yeah, I'm pretty. At least sure. I didn't see it. I don't remember seeing it there. Yeah, I I just saw Bungie, but. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's possible. They were an Activision title at the time. 
Skolas is prey, not easily concerned. We now face the Silent Fang, expert assassins. Follow their scent to Earth. And speak to Petra at the Vestian Outpost. Follow All right. their scent to Earth. To Earth. Hold me closer, tiny dancer. <laughs> it works. It works. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've fought the Fang before, Guardian. They're tough, but we're tougher. Let's take them on. I've fought the Fang before, Guardian. They're tough, but we're tough. Oh, what she just Let's said. Let's take them on. Okay. Yeah. Yep, she just did. Um, so the step is the story of the Awoken and their campaign against the House of Wolves. Stop Skolas' elite assassins before they tear through the cosmic from Complete mission, Silent Fang. All right. All right. I'm gonna take a bio break real quick. All right, all right. I, I can actually take us to the tower if we need. Oh, level up, level up. There we go. Um, <laughs> uh, we can uh, we can actually head to the tower and uh, pick up some uh, pick up some ammo synths and things like that. So sure. let's do that. Let's do that. And uh, you can take that bio break. So we're going to orbit. Now that was one of the biggest uh, biggest jumps between D1 and D2. That. That was kind of nice. Was that you? You didn't. You didn't have to always go to orbit. You could just go to the destination in D two. D one. You always had to go to orbit. Go to orbit. You had to go to orbit. You had to go to orbit. So yeah. But um, but there's there's a lot of cool stuff about the uh, about D one that um, if it's ever remastered, I would love to see a remastered Reef because um, when uh, when I did the blind well with the kiddo today. Um, I, I didn't, I didn't realize how beautiful the, um, the, the Dreaming City looked, uh, with uncapped frames. And so when you're on PC, it just, it's just so rich and so beautiful and so detailed. It's just breathtaking. And for the reef to look this good on PS4, I can't imagine what it would look like in uncapped frames. I think, it'd, I think it'd be worth it. It would definitely be worth it. So chat, good evening. Uh, it's great to see you all here today. You are gaming with the T Monster. I am the T Monster. You can call me T. You can call me T Monster. You can call me Twitch Dad. Um, it has been a. Uh, it has been a. a uh, it's been a. It's, it's been a. It's been a pretty. A pretty. Pretty decent Monday. Um, got a lot of stuff done. Uh, new highlight reel is up. You can. You can check that out on the Discord. Um, Go to the Discord, and when you get when you get there under announcements, you'll see it's there. Uh, I also posted a review, a review through gameplay, of um, Phasmophobia, which was a um, uh, a horror survival game that I I played with uh, Phil Rossi, and we just had an absolute blast playing it. Um, we had the shit scared scared, uh, scared out of us. That's that goes without saying, but. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, it was, that was a ride. That was a ride and then some. Okay. I will say this too. If you were to ask me, what is the, what is one of the things you miss the most from D, D1 over D2? I miss the score. I love that. That, that original music is just breathtaking absolutely breathtaking and i love it i absolutely love it all right let's see hello master raul decode these things for me please all right Ooh, my rank with this faction has increased i'll accept the rewards yes i will Strange coins. Oh, I have to go speak to someone down here. Who are you speaking to? Uh. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's Cade. Ah, Cade. Sad make don't make do that, don't do that to me. I was gonna say. Don't do that to me. <laughs> make that moment last. Make that moment last. I'm just saying. Hey, 
Take What's me with chroma? you. <laughs> oh. oh, chroma, chroma. It's stuff you can put on your armor to make it glow. Uh, and and it wasn't like a. You have it, to be level forty. Yeah, but uh. but once you get there, I mean, it was just it was just nice because, you know, you, you know, it was chroma. You could you could you could you know you could just slap it on any piece of armor that you liked. It wasn't necessarily the same kind of thing with um, with Shades. chroma now with, with with chroma now and shaders. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a very different thing. Hold up. The feedback fence was in D1. Yeah, I remember the feedback fence in D1. I yeah. did not. I only remember it from D2. Okay. All right. Where do wow. we turn in strange coins? Good question. That's a very good question. <laughs> um, if I remember correctly, strange coins were things that you used uh, to purchase purchase rare rare items. They were a bit like they were, they were no, a bit it's like only it's Zer. You're right. It was Zer. It was yeah. Zer. Yes, yes. I totally forgot. You're right. Oh yes. Where even is Zer? I think just for the just for just for kicks it's and Monday. Giggles, He'll be here. I'm gonna go on ahead. I'm gonna pick up the chroma. Yeah. Stay safe out there. Yeah, it just gives you strange coins and motes because we're yeah because we're not there we're yet. Like, we're like level two. All right. Let's go find Zer, kids. I'm I only have one I'm, of his spots. I'm trying to remember where where Zer. Yeah. Where would you would find? He could Zer? only be in a tower, so. That's right. Excuse me, Mister Emissary of the Nine. Have you seen Mister Zer? Hey kids, can you find Zer? <laughs> I don't know if you noticed it, but the uh, the the music that I had playing was uh, was our um, was was the music from back here from this little bar area. Yeah, I heard. I heard. <laughs> I remember correctly. Yep, play music. Here it is. There you go. I can hear it from up here. <laughs> Circle dance. The tiny dance. The, yeah. Oh my god, I remember the tiny dance. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. The fun. These were these were so much fun. These were so much fun. All right. One more song. One more song. What? Where even are you? I'm in the bar. Where is the bar? <laughs> Here, hanger? I'll show you. Yeah, it's in the hangar. Here, I'll show you. Oh, it's up there? Nope, nope, nope. You come, to, come to where I'm at. I'm down here, Sonny. Come over here. Right? Then follow me, and then take a take a right, and come on over here. And this is like the bar lounge area. Now come over here, Sonny, and uh, hit play music. There you go. And if you listen to the theme, you realize it's the Destiny theme, but it's in different styles. It's 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 basically different styles. We are dancing in exact unison on the I screen. I noticed that. Yeah, I just saw that myself. <laughs> did you find? Did you happen to find Zer over here? Nope. All right. Uh, 
All right, let's go on the, uh, enough of this fooling around. Let's go, let's go get on the mission. Let's go enough get on the mission. Enough fooling around. Enough fooling around. <laughs> All right. Hi, bring a sword. <laughs> All right. So, chat, how was your... Oh, I was going to say, how was Images your... Images you can hear. Uh, um, yes. Um, <laughs> and uh, and sound you can smell. Um, so, chat, how was your Monday? How is everything? Uh, how, how's, your, how's your week starting off? I hope it's starting off well. Brandon, did you switch ships? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. All right. We're going that we're going back to the Cosmodrome and we're doing the Son of Thang. Level 18 story shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> That's funny, but it's sad. But it's true. All right. No, I'm looking at a um I'm looking at a drifter meme. Oh. Oh, that's even oh. But you heard me <laughs> but you heard it right you heard it right here um uh, Marv, if you were curious, I did get uh, my offering, so I'm all set. I'm all set for tomorrow. I just have to make sure that I time it right. The Silent Fang are assassins, killers, free of charge. During the war, yeah, I have no recollection of the House of Wolves. Of this, uh, of I only the... remember the first mission. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Hold on, hold on. Check the Discord server. Uh, as soon as as soon as I get a chance. If I if I if I don't check it during stream, I'll check it. I'll check it. Uh, there I'll, you go. I posted it. All right. Thank you. <laughs> okay, here we go. At the gates. Best we find them they Look at him vibe. Best. He's vibing. He's vibing. Oh, T. I think I remember this mission. He dabbed on me. He dabbed on me. <laughs> Got work done in the shop, spent the weekend repairing <laughs> was, was fun, actually. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, the, um, I, I would say the bulk of the weekend was, uh, was, was this little, this little minor DIY project. We also managed to record a, um, we also managed to record a happy hour. And, uh, uh, and just so you know, Brandon, I did check the, I did check the audio and it, it, it came out nice and balanced, so everything... Good. Everything looks good. It looks like we're we're gonna have a, a brand new uh, episode out this week of the podcast. Sweet. So yeah, looking forward to that. We had a good time. We had a good time uh, chit chatting with um, Steve, the blind gamer sailor, a regular on the show, and you all know him from Happy Hour, uh, from not just from Happy Hour, but also from uh, Blind Leads the Blind. But uh, yeah, Steve Steve was giving his uh, his take on <laughs> on accessibility and destiny in particular with the uh, the dungeons. And oh, that just, see that always teases me. The fact that there's a there there's a ammo over there. I don't think I can make that jump. Ooh, a purple engram. Yes. A really? To Damn it. A token of judgment. A token oh. of judgment. I got a machine gun. Uh, what was that? I think. I, I have not done enough. Don't. Did you really just. You really just ran through a trap and let us deal with it? Okay. Ah. <laughs> Devils can detect calm signals as well as we can. Jump on in. The water's fine. <laughs> Yeah, Steve was, um, Steve, Steve, just so you all know, Steve was, uh, a little, um, put off today by some, something that happened. Uh, apparently Twitch's accessibility Thanks. lead Probably left. Oh. And basically, yeah, he, he tweeted and basically said, I can no longer, I'm no longer working with Twitch. He said, he said, I found out you can say too much. 
and I was like, wow, wow, yeah. What happened? The accessibility, uh, the accessibility, I guess you could say, um, lead over at Twitch apparently yeah. um, was let go. And oh. and that that's that's never good because accessibility accessibility should not they need to have champions everywhere they go. And when when you've got one guy at Twitch that is that is uh, that's basically handling or dealing with uh, you know dealing with um, with everything Ex with everything and with, and with accessibility issues and making sure that people are are being represented properly. I mean that's 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 a big thing. Oh, hello. Easy. Uh, I think I just threw that. Uh, hang on. Ooh. It could it could uh, mean something's happening in Twitch, and I don't mean that in a good way. Yeah, I know. I I don't I don't I. It, it I don't think it is either. And and um, yeah. Steve said something very ominous. He basically said maybe Twitch isn't where I should be streaming. And I'm like, ooh. So, it's a matter. It's a matter of if that's if that's really what what Steve thinks. Then the question is, where would he go? I mean, you've got YouTube, but I've never heard. I I, I don't I don't know much about um, Google's stance on accessibility. I know YouTube streaming service isn't the best. The what? YouTube streaming service isn't the best. Oh uh, yeah. It's good There's for... still some YouTubers that like oh. they, they stream on YouTube. Oh yeah. Like for yeah. And and I'm sure that for them, for the established streamers, I'm sure I'm sure it's I'm sure it's terrific. But it's that's a, just it's it. that's the problem is it's a, a video platform for streamers. Or for it's a video platform for video producers and makers, but then it has a streaming feature compared to Twitch being a Streaming platform for streamers yeah. with a video feature. Yeah, there is a difference. There is a difference. Yes. You denied Skulos the House of Devils, but there's another fallen house on Earth. I'd be willing to bet he's going hmm. after the kings next. Where did that grenade go? Anyway, oh, I can't summon my sparrow. All right. I just feel so I think good. I'm like two XP from leveling. That <laughs> F. You can look at my name on the next screen. Yep. F. Oh my God. <laughs> Ooh. Well, hello. Moss Camel Calamus. Yep. Damn. I got that. I, I got that as well. Than, wish it was better than what I had. <laughs> All right. But even a lot of the established YouTubers are doing a lot of the streaming on Twitch, which makes me believe Twitch is probably yeah. still just better. Otherwise, why would they bother? Again, for those people who... For, and, and I find that interesting. It's one of the things that Twitch and streaming on a whole has managed to do that podcasting... There was no way that, that, that podcasting could... Um, could compensate the way, the way streaming did. Um... And what I mean is that a lot of the original names of podcasting, they were, we, we were all standouts, but then when networks got, you know, stepped in and started and started, you know, people started doing this, you know, just doing their own kind of streaming. For example, um, Joe Rogan, love him, hate him. The, the, the thing is, is that, uh, you know, I, I've, I've never been a big fan of, of Rogan because basically Rogan used his celebrity status, albeit as limited as it was. But Joe, but people know Joe Rogan from Fear Factor and from News Radio, and based on that, he started up that podcast of his, and and the podcast is really just an offshoot of the radio show. So, um, so you know the whole, you know, the thing was that when celebrities started, when they started streaming, um, they they found that they basically had to start from 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 square one. Now, granted, they would have a built-in audience. People like, uh, like, 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 um, oh, uh, what is the, Deschart? 
What is his first name? I'm trying to remember. The guy from the Brian guy, Deckert. Brian Deckert. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Brian Deckert. He had an he has an audience. He has an audience because people know him from uh, from video gaming in particular from Detroit Become Human. However, um, and and I mean, another, and I would say another streamer who had a built-in audience is uh, someone like uh, the dreamy Matt Mercer. You know, you know, he's he's doing what he's doing, the critical role. <laughs> yeah. And you know, and and yeah, I mean, of course, you know, he's, you know, he's he's an established name. But then when you look at at some of the bigger names, the ones who have the bigger audiences, there are people that haven't necessarily gone mainstream or had that built-in audiences, but they have worked long enough. People like Lupo, Pokimane, they've they're they're so big in Twitch that it doesn't really matter. It really doesn't matter if 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 uh, you know A list or B list uh, celebrities start streaming. They will always have that audience, and they will always um, have that built-in, built-in fact, fact, faction. And um, and I, but you know, but but the thing that I will say about Twitch that, that I think is 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 uh, that that stands better than YouTube is that um, if you wanted to start streaming, you can start streaming, and you can stream and still stand out on YouTube. Oh, sorry. On Twitch, on YouTube, I think it's a little tougher, because yeah. be, because as as Brandon eloquently put it, YouTube is not necessarily known for streaming. It's known for, f let's be honest, filmmakers. I mean, I still remember when I saw some of the this underground stuff that I I mean I never seen it before, um, and a lot of these directors were discovered through YouTube. Uh, the person I'm thinking of uh, in 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 particular is Darren is uh, Dan Trachtenberg. Dan Trachtenberg was the guy who directed this this short film on YouTube and he put it on he released it on YouTube and it was called Portal No Escape. And it was a it was a it was a, a short film set in the Portal universe and it was beautiful to watch. And it was obvious that he knew the game and he built a story around the game of Portal and it was it was wonderful. The producers of Cloverfield saw that, and they were impressed enough. They said, "They, they said to, to Trachtenberg, we'd like for you to direct uh, 10 Cloverfield Lane, which was a follow-up to Cloverfield. And if you haven't seen 10 Cloverfield Lane, you're missing out. It is a fun... What is it? 10 Cloverfield Lane. Uh, when, when, when your mom and I saw it, you were probably at camp, and you would have been too young to see it. We could actually go back and rewatch it. Oh, wasn't it like a horror movie or something? It's uh, yeah, yeah, but it's one of those horror movies. It it's, it's less of a horror movie, more of a thriller, I think. Huh. Um, and it's really good. It's really we really go good. To the reef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting there. I just uh, I just wanted to clear out clear out the decks a bit and just uh, trim this up. Yeah. Um. Your uh, Nick is in is in chat. Uh, Sunny, and he says it's more sus more suspense than horror. A lot of theater of the mm. mind, which is true. Um, he also says, I love the push-pull with credibility of podcasts. All the celebs considered them nothing more credible than the paparazzi until they got involved with the podcast on their own. Well, and it's funny you should say that, Nick, because that was something that I mentioned in... Um, I mentioned that in the fourth edition of Podcasting for Dummies, coming soon to bookstores everywhere. Um... One of the things that I said was that I have been involved in, I have been involved in podcasting long enough to see it go from something that nerds do in the basement of the science building to the punchline of jokes for people who, as Nick, as Nick alluded to, couldn't quite cut it in mainstream media to being a major plot device in Jordan Peele's reimagining of, of, of the Twilight Zone. And um, <laughs> your dad really likes our, our Arcadian jump ships, apparently. Um, <laughs> but, um, but I mean, that's the thing. Podcasting has really evolved. But what, what is funny is, is that um, I also remember when um, I also remember when podcasting first came on, we were basically saying, well, I shouldn't say we members of the podcast community were saying we're, we're saying this is going to revolutionize new media uh this is going to um that you know 
old old traditional media as we know it has to reimagine how they do things etc cetera, etc cetera. none of that came to pass traditional media basically absorbed podcasting and I don't I, I I think they would like to try that with streaming but I think streaming is an entirely different different animal it's an entirely different animal all right In their own way, next step Scour the Cosmodrome for Skolas and the Invading Wolves. Complete the mission, the Ruling House. All right, then. I guess that's what we're doing. Wait, is there something... Hold on. Yes? What? Oh, it's a light. What? What are you looking for, huh? I heard a light. Where are you? <laughs> uh, Yes. Oh. She's 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 still learning her way around the reef. Yeah, she's still learning her way around around the reef. No, there's a light here that I can just Acknowledged. Tower confirms availability. Alright. Exchange complete. Wait, which light they have that in the dreaming city too, I mean. Oh oh that light. Oh, okay. Okay. Unless she's talking about real life, but <laughs> I don't think there she was is. no clarity given, so I'm just rolling with it. We're good. All right. Isn't there? I think there's another ghost shell in here. Is there? Yeah. I think he's yeah, and here. and uh, and here's the funny thing about uh, Master Ives, uh, Nick. We discovered that uh, when you listen to Master Ives. It turns out You're Master right. There is a ghost up here. Turns it's out, right here. It turns yeah. out that Master Ives is played by the same voice actor who did damn it. Who did um Devram K. When you listen to Master Ives, same guy. Oh uh, shoot. Oh I see how it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is the reef. This is the reef. Alright, how do I get up there again? I think I already got this one. It is probably, but just over here. Yep, and then just jump up. Wait, are two of his arms robotical? Uh, what? Oh crap! Varix's she... arms isn't aren't like two of them robotical? Like on the top. See, like yeah. over here. Huh. All right. Show me again. Show me again. Where did I, where did I miss it? You're overcomplicating it. Okay. You just stand here, jump up. Oh. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> and that it was up here. He always ma he always makes it look easy, Rach. He always makes it look easy. I, I think I already got it. Did I already get it? Most likely. Yeah. Yeah, you see it. Yeah, I got that. Later, boy. It. All right. It's still it's still beautiful. All right. So we're going back to the Cosmodrome. Let me. Uh, awesome. Let me, let me get us let me get us going back there. We should do trials. Yeah. <laughs> We'll be fighting amongst ourselves, apparently. <laughs> yeah. I excel in making video games look hard. Hey, that's that's my jam as well. That is my jam as well. I hear you, Rach. I do hear you. All right. We're going back to the Cosmodrome. And it is level 20. Yep. Scour the Cosmodrome for Skolas and the Invading Wolves. The ruling house. Here we go. Wrong button. Hello. What? What'd you do? I pressed share instead of options. Oh, whoops. Yep. The house of kings is unique right. among the fallen. They are secretive, dangerous. They hide in the shadow of the cosmodrome, waiting. Plotting. If Skolos can bring the House of Kings under his banner, we're all in trouble. I'm game. Damn. I'm getting a lot of interference down there. Hold tight, Guardian. All right. Wait, you're saying Gideon Emery was the voice of uh, of of uh, Master Ives in in season in Destiny Sorry. One? Really? Because I tell you, when we when when we heard the voice, all three of us all three of us thought it was 
it, it sounded just like Debram K. Behind you, behind you, Sonny. I got you. There we go. Ah, okay. So Gideon and Emery. What? Okay, so I was right. All right, all right. See, now I got to go back and listen to and 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 uh, see Daredevil. Watch Daredevil and 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 see if I can pick him out of there. Oh, there we go. Got to see if I can do that. Dad. <laughs> Servitor is pissing me off. All right, here we go. Oh, stop it. Really? Come on. Boom. Here. There's a what over where? I grabbed the blue. Ah, okay. Hold on, I'm sitting up because I was like lying down on this. I just threw my knife on accident. I've heard a lot of good things about that about that game, Rach, until dawn. Heard a lot of good things about it. It's pretty good. Di I was gonna say, didn't you play it? Didn't you play it, yeah. uh, Brandon? Yeah, that's what I thought. Um both uh Brett. Brett, oh god, I'm blanking on his name now. Brett Dalton from Agents of Shield. I know he's in it. And yeah, there's so, some good names. Yeah, the guy uh, Hayden Penetier. Yeah, the main characters. And um, oh, I can never remember his name, but he played. Uh, he was in Mr. Robot, and he also played Freddie Mercury. Yeah, he's um, one of the characters as well. Oh, I can't he's, remember his name either. Yeah, he's he's uh, he's the he's the villain. He's the upcoming villain in the new Bond flick. Is he? Yeah. Oh, you didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's gonna be great in it, I think. There's a lot of stuff that's coming out that, Rami Malik. Thank you very much. Yeah. Rami Malik. <laughs> now everyone's saying Rami Malik. <laughs> oh, bad grenade. I'm wondering if this is the mission. I wonder if this is the. Can you see it? Uh, is this the mission where we hear "kill them back"? This... I think so. Yeah. Sonny will finally understand it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, I am here. Kings Kings will see see Wolf pack as well. Hey, Wolfpack! There you go. Yeah. They will not. The wolves are approaching an old command center beyond the rocket yard. Where the kings are hidden. I'm in a loading screen. Imagine. At the Battle of Twilight Gap, the Devils, the Kings, and the House of Winter joined forces to take on the city. The House of Wolves could have turned the tide for the Fallen, but my queen interfered. What did she do? What? What did, what did Mara do? Said she... Yeah. No, Petra. Oh, Petra? No, she said my. No, no, no what Mara? She said my oh. queen interfered. So she was like, "What did she do?" That is a very good question. I don't know if we ever found out. We just know that the queen. You are here. Wait, she ah, here, here it is. Here it is. House kings, they will not know, and they would not care. They will try to nice. kill you. Kill them back. <laughs> That's such a good line. That's a great line. Rev three, dude. They will want to kill you. <laughs> kill them back. Them back. <laughs> Oldie but a goodie. 
Well, that, that and that's one of the cool things about taking taking Sunny through this. She'll be able to get like you know that that reference as well as get the reference of uh, why Omnigul. Whether we wanted it. No. Whether we want or not, we should do more with the ball on Mars. More, more. We should more. do that strike. <laughs> we should. And Rev Three gifting a sub, a tier one sub, uh, to Ice Cross. Essie crossed. Or Essie crossed. Essie crossed. Essie crossed. Yeah. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. I know that's what you do, but thank you very much. That's putting us four subs away from my weekly sub goal of 110 subs. And I'm a mere uh, six follows away from 3,100 follows, which is my weekly uh, my weekly goal. Hey, boys. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, boys? Where'd you go? All right. I'm waiting for that uh, servitor to make a make a decision. Ooh. There we go. Oh, he jumped away from my grenade. Damn it. Whoop. No more special. No more bullets. Ooh. Ow. What is that in the middle? That is a... Does it a, not look familiar? Yeah, you should take a closer look at it. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, like, is that like a hologram? Yeah. And look at that. Hang on. Huh. NoCats.net? NoCats.net with the follow? What are you doing? You're killing me, no cats. Are you sure you want to follow this stream? Because this is a very cat-friendly stream. As you can see, I've got I've got my cat chilling with me right now. That is gamer cat. Let's thank you very that. much. They can still unfollow. No, there is that. <laughs> I just want to make sure that they're following the right channel. That's the thing. But thank you, no cats. Thank you for that follow. Yeah, I don't remember coming in here and seeing a hologram. Of the of the travel. I don't remember this mission either. <laughs> but we do remember that line: "Kill them back." Oh yeah. Oh, what's cool is, if you if you get up close to the hologram, it disappears. Yeah. Yeah, because you're passing through it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Unlocked a few features. Wow, kind of sucked wind on that one, but okay. What is that? Garmer, a Garmer, I thought it looks like Garmin, a Garmin SR1. Um, looks a lot like. Oh, what is the name of that? The Amalon weapons? Yeah, yeah, it's got the yeah. fluid inside it. Yep, that means it's Amalon. That means it's Amalon. Please don't assume the worst. Okay, I won't then. <laughs> Thank you, No Cats. Thank you, No Cats. We are very cat friendly here. In fact, Benedict right here. AKA Gamer Cat. Here's a close up of him. Gamer Cat was a rescue. And uh, he's he's come. He Oh, you have no cats. I see. I see. Well, the thing is, he's a rescue cat and uh, he has come a long, long way in his in his journey. And um, yeah, yeah, he's he, he's a he's a good boy. He, as uh, as uh, as Sonny would say, he's a small boy. He's a small. He's a small. Spelled S M S M O L. Charlie is under the desk. And so I know it sounds like I'm saying Benedict with a T. It's actually Benedict with a K because Benedict had a sister. Um, she she did not live long. She lived for only six months, but she had a good life. She had a very good life in the end. And Wait, um, six months? I thought it was a couple of years. No, it just felt like a couple of years because you were way younger then. Um, but it was Benedict, it was Benedict and Beatrice, and we named them after the, uh, the couple in Much Ado About Nothing. Um, but, uh, yeah, he said, no, it's okay. It's okay, Rach. It happens often. Uh, it happens often. I have to correct the vet all the time. But, and, you know, honestly, it's, it's Benedict versus Benedict. You know, it's like, it's, it's all, it's all in the pronunciation. 
Um, I should have been uh, I should have been paying attention to where we need to go. Do we need to go back to Petra? Oh, we got to talk to Petra. Yep. All right. I'll be right back. I must mute self. All right, mute yourself, and I will take us to the reef. My personal rant goes like this: There are cats all over the internet. However, not on my little corner of the net. So it's also a .net domain. That's actually quite cool, because yes, yes, that is very true. There are many, there are many cats on the internet. Um, and if there aren't cats on the internet, there are doggos on the internet. So yeah, um, and if it's in cats and dogs, it's iguanas. I, I see a lot of iguanas on the internet. I do. I really do. I do. But no cats, thank you very much for joining us. We really do appreciate you being here. You're gaming with the Team Monster. It is Retro Monday. And uh, birds. Yes, birds. Birds also. I see a lot of birds on the net. And burbs. <laughs> but uh, you're gaming with the Team Monster. I am I am the Team Monster. You can call me T. You can call me Twitch Dad. You can call me uh, Team Monster. Um... Along with being a, a gamer, I'm also a writer of science fiction and fantasy. Uh, I have uh, done steampunk with my wife. We are the authors of The Minister of Peculiar Occurrences. And I am also known for uh, writing for Dummies books. I have the fourth edition of Podcasting for Dummies coming out. And, and y yep, you found me from a For Dummies book. I was just going to say, I also wrote Twitch for Dummies. So uh, if that's what you're reading, then fantastic. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. And I hope the book's been a help. I hope the book's been a help. Skolas has failed at every attempt to wrest control of the other houses. His forces grow thinner with each passing day. Oh, you also picked up Discord as well. Thank you very much for that. Yeah, that's the that's the new one. Discord for dummies. Um I I like to I like to say that that when it comes to creating content on the web or creating con creating streaming content or just any kind of content um, <clears throat> that falls under that umbrella of content creator. If you get podcasting for dummies, Discord for dummies, and Twitch for dummies, you're covered. So I've got that I've got that corner set aside for me at uh, at the for dummies. Uh, you know, so yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you again. All right, uh, let's see here. You're on the uh, intermission. Just oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, that this time I was aware of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was just trying to figure out again. Um, that's a good question that that Sonny had. And I'm trying to remember. How do we gain reputation if we're not if we have to be a higher level? Yeah. Oh, higher level. That that would. Do I it. think it, it's doing person of elders. Yeah. Oh. So <laughs> shy. Royal Amethyst. Okay. Also, doing these missions, doing doing these these various missions, that also brings up uh, brings up your your reputation in here. Yeah. I still have my Dreadfang. I still have my Dreadfang. It's on my Good. Warlock. It's on my Warlock. That was a fun one. So, no cats. I gotta ask: Are you are you streaming, or are you just uh, trying to figure out? how to incorporate streaming into something else that you're doing and uh for your discord how is your how is how is that going if you have any questions please do not hesitate feel free to go ahead and ask on my stream it's what i i try to make this stream and ask me anything opportunity uh especially people who have read podcasting twitch or discord for dummies if they got any questions for me this is a this is a time where you can then come and ask the author hey i got a question so yeah and hopefully i can have an answer for you and if i don't the good news is I, I can point you in the right direction. That's that's uh, that's what I try to do every night when I come on this stream. That and have fun with my friends. That's 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 the goal. That's the goal. All right. So our next our next mission, should we choose to accept it, is are we going to Venus? Is Sunny back? Yeah, we're going to Ishtar Cliffs on Venus. I don't know if she's back yet, but we'll find out. I got the book today. I just read you were on Twitch, so I brought it up, and you happen to be live talking about instant gratification, page four. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's super well-timed. That is super well-timed. Oh, man. <laughs> 
That is brilliant. Well, there you go. That that there you go. We yeah, we talked about this actually, Nick. With that that Venus was visually one of the most stunning maps of the original of the original Destiny. But I think when I look at the original Destiny from beginning to end, I would say my two favorite places to just go and just either kill time or do, you know just just grind. If it wasn't um, Dreadnought. It was Arch uh, well Archon's Forge, but Archon's Forge was part of the Plaguelands, and part of the reason why I really loved Archon's Forge was that snow effect. Now it's going to be different because now they've got the ability to have the weather come and go, but there were times where you would go to you know you would have that constant snowfall, and you put you you put in contrast to the snow those freaking splicers. Man, it was just uh, such, such a such a great map. <laughs> Rise of Iron is really For good. For what? Mm. Oh, Rise of Iron? Rise of Iron. Yeah, yeah when we get there. When Don't we get they there. have doggos? Uh, Saladin does. Oh, yeah. Saladin does. Yeah, yeah. Even old wolves still bite. I love that. That's that's one of my favorite lines. That He's my... voiced by the same dude that does a Reaper. That's right, he does. Because I remember there was a... Yeah. In D2, he does the thing where he goes... Die, die, <clears throat> sorry. And then the... Yeah. <laughs> what? Salad and his voice for the same guy that does Reaper from Overwatch. That's... Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And he still is. Yep. All right. All right, so we are heading towards... Hold on, hold on, oh, hold oh, on. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Ah! <laughs> the, joys of, the joys of running with your daughter. Um, but that's, that's really amazing. Uh... <laughs> That's great timing. So thank you again, No Cats. Thank you again. Um, so yeah, so I, I'm I'm a writer. I'm a communications and uh, a communications specialist, communications professional, and um, and this is what I do. And I've been been having a really good time exploring Twitch. Um, just when I think, and I will say this, I, I really dig about. Uh, I, I really really dig about. Um, about my experience so far it's gotten me back into video editing i i haven't edited video on a regular basis in a long time and now when i try to do different um when i try to do different uh different things in video i'm, I'm always asking myself well, can i try this can i do this like um this week i'm going to be releasing a clip of uh, that's from the highlight reel but what i did for the it's it's basically a preview clip of the of the highlight reel but what i did for the preview clip and i was inspired by some of the stuff i've seen steve sailor do i went on ahead and did what was called kinetic typography where as i'm saying the words the words are appearing uh in in in, in a dynamic fashion and it was time consuming to set up the first sequence of words because of course i'm listening to myself and then typing out the words and for each word i had to put in a different layer for text so at one point I had like 13 active layers. Um, the way to look at the way to look at video editing is it's it's like building a sandwich, and the more complicated you make a video, the less it starts looking like a, a regular sandwich, and the more it looks like one of those sandwiches that you would see at like a, a, a an extreme sub shop where it would be like this high. Um, but once I did like the first two, I started to find a groove, and uh, and I was real happy with the way with the way it ended. I was real happy with the way it ended, um, the, or the, the end result. I did not do that, however, for um, for the review that I just did of Phasmophobia. Um, but I hope that when when when, uh, when when Phil sees the review, it will meet his approval. Because uh, oh, that was that was just a, a ridiculous night. Um, even Pip was like, "You two were knuckleheads," and she says, "I can't imagine the two of you actually want to do this." <laughs> For real, and I'm like, yes, we do, we do. Video editing is not a sandwich; it is a catering table on the set of a Marvel movie. <laughs> Very true. I'm a musician and used to be a purist and ignored EDM, but I like it, so I'm doing EDM remixes of my original. I'm gonna be DJing the tracks on Twitch. I tried before; I had the content, but I had to stop. Need to be more prepared. That's that's very cool. And I tell you right now, I tell you right now, no cats, if you're doing EDM, um, you might find yourself, a, if not a niche, a definite market because um, 
Twitch is always the, the the streamers on Twitch are always looking for um, places. <laughs> they're all they're all they're all look, they're always looking for um for 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 different musicians and different mixes and stuff that they have permission to play. It's one of the things I wrote in Twitch. Um, <laughs> sunny, 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 Sunny. If you if you're if you're laughing at something that has nothing to do with what I'm talking about, mute yourself. Thank you. Sorry. That's all right. Um, I stream. My daughter does not. She is still learning the the, the ropes of it. But um, what I was going to say was was that um, um, in 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 Twitch for Dummies, I basically said there is a there is a uh, um, a very tenuous. I think that might be the best best word I can describe it. That tenuous relationship between Spotify and Twitch and the streamers upon it, where so long as they're playing the music in the background and it's not like in the forefront of whatever it is that they're doing, it's okay for them to play music. The problem is, is that when they start doing highlight reels, when they start, when or when they when they're just streaming, and when people are are subbing, technically money is being made. It has nothing to do with the music that's being played. But it's the atmosphere that's being set. Well, I said in in in, uh, in twenty nineteen when when Twitch for Dummies came out, I said, right now, both sides are kind of looking the other way, and they're saying we're cool with things as they are. And then I said that could change at any moment. And at the end of twenty nineteen, it changed rather dramatically, and people were getting uh, cease and desist, and. Uh, violations of D, D, DCMA. So now I know a lot of I know a lot of streamers that are looking for music and if that's what you're producing um yeah yeah that's that's it's it's a good time to be a musician and be on Twitch. It's a very good time to be a musician and be on Twitch. Okay. Uh I will now go on ahead and launch us into Wolves Gambit. Uh we're going to Venus. So kiddo, if you don't mind unmuting yourself. Um thank you. Thank you. Okay, I take it back. Mute yourself again, please. Thank you very much. No. All right. <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> I take it <laughs> back. I don't know what I was thinking. All right. Okay, uh, let's see here. There we go. And. All right, then. Welding with this crumbling backwater at the roof. Yep, that's definitely. That's definitely. Uh, Devrim. Yeah, I remember when Master Ives. Yeah, Master Ives died, and I'm like, "Who was he again?" You know, like, <laughs> exactly. That was the whole point to remind you that he exists. Yeah, yeah, that he existed. All right. So we're going to wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why is it telling me? Hang on a minute. We're going to Venus. Yeah. So why is it telling me? It's, oh, it's oh, it's oh, you know what it is. It's because I've got some I, I I got some engrams, but they're like blue and green, and I'm like um, I'll I'll deal with them later. All right. Oh, Wolves. I do I do like I do like the emblem, Sonny. I think that suits you. The green suits you. Yes. Okay. I'm paying you a compliment, kiddo. Don't do not respond in Raptor, please. Thank you. <laughs> All right. You know that you know that scene with the, with with the with the girl in Jurassic Park where she's got the the, the spoonful of Jello and it starts trembling in her hand. That's me every morning when I wake up. Every morning when I wake up. No, <laughs> I am asleep. What are you talking about? That I know of. <laughs> I don't get that up that early. <laughs> yeah, do, do you think I would get up that early? At five a.m. No, I wouldn't. I'm not a morning person. Trust me, neither you're is your teenager. dad. You're not a you're not a night or morning group. <laughs> you are set. You are, you are set. We're teenagers. Your we are perpetually tired. <laughs> you ain't wrong. I grabbed a 160 sparrow and it feels so nice. <laughs> I hope Skolas knows how counterproductive that is. What do you mean? He's talking about being, like, the king of kings, basically. He's trying to make himself a god, and he has the fallen. 
and make everyone bow to one house. Mm. That's kind of counterproductive. Okay, that's not a good sign. The wolves are assaulting the vault of glass. Ah, uh, is Scott's mad. Planning. Uh, He's just small brain. Yeah. Catch. There we go. They're the assaulting the vault of glass. Get in there, guardian. We have to stop them. Praetorian. <laughs> what? Praetorian mentors. Is this the uh, the mission with Praetis ghosts? Uh, Ow. I'm trying to remember. Because there's one secret one where you go into the vault of glass. It's uh, some exotic quest. It where if you find the, there's specific there's three ghosts in the vault of glass, and then it unlocks something that you have to finish the quest for. It's like the black hammer, black spindle one. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. I don't. I don't remember that. But we'll keep it. We can. I know, and you've never done it, and I can guarantee it because it's right. really confusing. Oh, it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. That is. Wait, are cool. we killing I, these minotaurs, or are we just like? We're killing, killing everything. Yes. Yeah. And and uh, chat when uh, when when Brandon says that he is not being insulting, he is basically my style of play back uh, back when when D one was out was uh, very binge worthy. So I would I didn't do a lot of the detailed quests. I was I was pretty much playing on what I would call the I'd be playing on the surface. And um, yeah, that's what I miss about D one is the quests like that. Yeah, they're, they're like part of story missions, and they're just some really obscure thing that you have to get to, and then it unlocks a whole different part of the mission. Yeah, and and that was because it plays a lot like Whisper or right, Outbreak. Right. Right. So and, and um, now, granted, you know the you know the oh oh yeah, <laughs> be careful there. Worth it. <laughs> hey, I never explored this. All right, so hang on. So, are we trying? Are we trying to get to? I'm trying to remember where we're getting to. Yeah, I will be honest with you. I don't remember the vault of glass. <laughs> um, I don't think it's going this way. Ooh. Um, I think yeah, we gotta get. We, yeah, we gotta get where we gotta get where Sunny is, or where you are actually. There. Yep. And I think I think that's uh, I think that's a matter of I think that's a matter of trusting trusting your jump and uh, and and making it. Yeah, I just wasn't sure where to go after that. There we go. Yeah, me neither. All right. Is that? A, no, that is not a hole. Hmm. See if this kills me. Yep. <laughs> okay. This is the way I the really map. I wish I remembered Vogue. Oh, right. wait. Oh, I just bonked my head on something. Oh, dear. Hmm. Uh, I think I found it. Oh, okay. It's a pathway on the right. It's very possible we are overcomplicating things. We could be. It's something we have. Oh, derp. Yeah. Boy, were we overcomplicating it. <laughs> yeah. Derp. What but, else are we supposed to do? But I, but I was going to say, though, uh, was that um, I would say that if, if, you know, if there was a quest like that now in, D, in D2, yeah, I would do it. I mean, yeah. I, I it's just the way that they've changed things yeah. on the map is that you can't Ooh, replay story nice. missions like one by one. Exactly. And I think that's a very different thing. But this is um so but yeah but but like uh, since we're replaying D one, if we get a chance, and you know we got to find is these these three these three obscure uh, ghosts. Yeah. Yeah. I, if I, I can remember where they are, I'd be I'd be oh my or god I, oh my god I vaguely remember this I vaguely remember this from uh, from the from the raid. This uh, this little this little jump pattern. Yeah. I miss Vogue. I want to miss Vog, I want to miss Vog, and and I I am I am determined that when when it gets you'll have a better experience around too. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. 
That's what I'm thinking. I'm guessing this is where the first, like, encounter would be yep. for Vaughn. Isn't there a strike, though, that, that, that happens here or something? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, no. Okay, I'm okay. You good? I took a different path. <laughs> I'm behind. My apologies. Yeah, I remember this. Why am I in very bad? Wolves trying to tap oracles, big glowing squares. Oh no, the oracles. I remember these. The oracles. Destroy them fast. You gotta destroy the the glowing things. Yep. Oh, it's like from They'll, Whisper. Kind of. Kind of. They'll wipe us. Yeah. It's a raid mechanic. Destroy. I I keep hearing them behind me though. That's the thing. I keep hearing. They're marked. Yeah. One yeah. in the middle. Oh, there's one. I'm guessing that would, it seems like a white mechanic, not gonna lie. It, it is, is yeah. it is, it is. Ah. I said that. Yep. That, that, I it, did not hear you at <laughs> all. I am so sorry. <laughs> it's something at the end of the boss fight, like the, the last phase. They start appearing and you gotta make sure that they don't. Oh jeez, I got a Scorch Cannon on my ass. And now I just have oh. a Scorch Cannon. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> now I just I have my ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I'm trying to remember, isn't this a uh, isn't this a nightfall or a strike of some description? I don't think so. Because uh, I I can't remember there being a strike in here. It's possible there is. It's been a while, and my memory is stupid, <laughs> stupidly selective. So Oop, fast strike. It's possible, but this is the only time I remember going in that wasn't the raid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be a room that looks similar that you're thinking of. Yeah, but maybe that maybe that's it. Maybe that's it then. Or maybe you're completely right and there is a strike here, and I'm just lost. Whoa! I just remember the configuration of this room and the whole white mechanic and everything like that. Yeah, you might have just been thinking of the raid. It could be, yeah. He's no shield. Oh, he just... Oh, he... Here. Oh, I just, I just threw a grenade on his head. That was very, that was very rewarding. Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Templar as well. Boom. So Nicely done, everybody. Nicely done. Network. This isn't just a hunt. A fallen house with Vex technology is a threat to the whole system. Things simple now, yes. We find Skolas. We put an end to Kel of Kells. Or wolves put an end to us. <laughs> he's a simple man, Barracks. He's a, he's a simple man, Barracks. A simple man with simple <laughs> means. I'm a patient man, fucker. So that's what time in the uh, in a in a concentration camp will do to you. <laughs> in a prison in a prison war camp will do to you. So remember, time in the prison of elders will do to you. Yeah. <laughs> now, if I remember correctly, the prison of elders was a it was a it was a three man Break. thing. It's it's a th it's a three man thing where you go in and it's just like it's just round on round on round. It, it, it you was get like five rounds and then you get a boss at the end. That's right. That's right. Yep. And I believe Skolas is a boss in <clears throat> Prison of Others. He is a boss. It's its own activity. Right, right, right. Ooh. 
Uh, upgrade damage. Nice. I can either do accurized bullets or oh predict oh smart drift control predictable and control for recoil. Oh, but I lose range. Uh, I, I I I want range. I want range. Oh, and I forgot this is full auto. Derp. Derp. This is full auto. But you see, this is one of the other differences, though, chat of of D D one versus D two. Even the weapons were in a. We're in a tree like, like, like you could switch the mods on and off, which yeah, yeah. you had to earn your exotic yeah. perks. Yeah, you had to earn all the perks. Uh, it was, it was a, uh, it was a very different, it was a very different time. But, um, but you know, the the you can still switch in and out the perks of your weapons in D two, but you had more perks to choose from, I think, in D one. At least that's what that's what this tree like uh, approach to it. I feel uh, was uh, was was different, and I'm I honestly didn't feel like I was paying enough attention to him, which is why I'm I'm. Yeah, you also weren't as invested in D1 as you were as you are D2. I think you're right. Yeah, uh, you know what? That is a fair assessment. I and and that was that was a um, that was something that when I got into D2, I said that's what I want to do differently. I want to get it. I want I want to be more invested yeah. in it. And I've worked really hard. I've worked really hard uh, to 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 try to figure all that out. I know there have been, you know, there are um, there are some people that that would agree that I have. There are some that say that I haven't. But m my thoughts on it are is that I have I have tried to I have tried to improve in this game. Um, and I will be the first one to say I think I've done things in D2 that I, I would have never dreamed about doing in D1. I've done a lot more raids in D2. Um, I, uh, I, did, I did trials. Are you pooping? Please tell me you're not pooping over there. The, the litter box is here. Sorry, talking to the cat. Um, I wasn't talking about me. But, uh, um, but anyway, like I, I, I did trials. I did trials in D2. I wanted to do trials in D2. Um, and you know, I mean, it, it, it was, it was a very, it, you know, I think D2 has been a very different experience for me. Uh, been a very different experience. Um, okay. Here we go. We have that wolf on the run, Guardian. This is the most fun I've had in a year. This is her idea of fun. Chat. That's pretty hardcore. I'm just saying. I think I'm in love. Ah. D1 Petra, but not yeah. D2 Petra. <laughs> D, D2 Petra is a little more... She, she's not as uh, swashbuckly as this one. That's true. She, she's, she's more noble. She's Yeah, she's more noble. In, in, you know, she's wearing the robes and all that. Here, she just looks like she's ready. To, she's I, I've got my I've got my skin tight I've got my skin tight uh, spacesuit on. I'm ready to kick ass, you know that kind of thing. Isn't like well, she like gets her like emissary title or whatever, right? I believe Tween. she does. Yeah, so that would make sense. Yeah. Well, she's the queen's wrath. I don't. She's also, um, um, I was, I, I, I was, I was just going to say that, uh, we have been fortunate, uh, on, on the podcast to talk to some people who do really, really good cosplay of Petra. Um, that's true. Yeah. 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 There's some, there's some good cause. There's some good destiny cosplay out there. Um, there's one in particular that I've been, I've been meaning to try to get her on the show. She's a streamer. She's a cosplayer. She's a Destiny player. Her name is Air Bubbles Cosplay. And she actually built a working... Well, when I say working, I mean as in like it lights up. She built a sac Wings of Sacred Dawn. Oh, wow. And and it's gorgeous. I mean a gorgeous cosplay. And uh, then she also did this thing where she, she made a Dawn Blade. And she'll do the pose where, where you know, you, you, you strike where, the, where, where you hold the Dawn Blade aloft... And she's got, I think she's got LED in the sword to make it look like it's glowing. So that's, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, that's, that's incredible. Um, 
no cats about uh, on Petra was like, no, she's virtu she's virtually cute. She 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 is. She is. She's she's virtually cute. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, see this this rather ominous. Yes. Yes. All right. All right. Here we go. But I do. I, I love the reef. The reef is just such a such a terrific. Uh, it's such a terrific map. Now, Sonny, if you want to see what Chroma looks like, come over here and take a look at this person's uh, armor. They've got some chroma happening. In fact, I think this is someone who's been doing. Um, it's uh. That's the Crota. That's Crota Zen. Crota, yeah. That's Crota Zen. My um my my um my warlock has that armor, and hmm. uh, yeah, I wasn't gonna delete my warlock from D two uh, D one. I, I worked I worked I worked hard and, and it was funny. I, I I started to take the game a lot more seriously near its end in D one, and um. Everyone did. Yeah, everyone did. It had more to do. Yeah, exactly. All right. So our next, our next step, our next step in this little little adventure is um, Queen's Ransom. The Queen's Ransom. What does the floof want? What? What is it? The flute. Yeah, yeah. Where is it, buddy? Benedict, where are you? Do you want to come up here? Come on up here. You look. You, you're you're the one with the fans. I'm just here to game and to try to be entertaining. But you're the one with the fans. Your fa yes, your fans want time with you. Come on. Come up here, Benedict. Yeah. <laughs> come on up. There you go. There you go. Sometimes he has to be coaxed out of his out of his dressing room chat. Um. So let's see. So, oh, I took care of that. Uh, House of Vus, follow Skolas, complete missions, Queen's Ransom in the Cosmodrome. Ooh, and we're going to get a legendary weapon out of it. Hot damn. Um, okay. And, you know, it's still, it's still a gorgeous game. It's still a gorgeous game. Um, I mean, you know, it is. It's just, it's... I still remember the first time I launched Destiny. And and I was just absolutely blown away by just the intro that I saw. Just the intro. The intro screen. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm stepping into a whole new world. And... Unfortunately, I couldn't jump into it because that was the weekend that PSN was hacked. So I had to wait until PSN, un until Sony cleaned up their mess there. And then, you know, and then I, and then I, I, I did that first mission. And it was, I, I haven't looked back since. I haven't looked back since. So returning to D1, as I, as I mentioned on the podcast, which, by the way, if you are curious about that podcast... It's a podcast I do with Brandon. I do with uh, his uh, his dad Nick, and myself, and it's called Happy Hour from the Tower. And um, the team and I just sat down in a canyon a few kilometers. And from we're, the we've been doing it virtually, but I miss. I'm I'm looking forward to the time where where we will where we we will be back in studios, and we will be back in studios. And. Um, and just recording, recording in real time with one another. Um, there's something we said about actually having people to physically look at and react to uh, when in studio. So he tried to conquer the other fallen houses and failed. Maybe now it's about weapons, outfitting the wolves with Vex instruments of war. If Skolas thinks he is Kell of prophecy, then weapons could uh, turn the tail. All right, and these maps, chat. Ugh, we have done so many different missions on these maps. I almost feel like if if you could go back and look at the maps, you would see the footsteps where that we tread a uh, you know paths in. It's 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 funny. Oh, that was I was too far away. Oh, ow! 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 Oh, 
There we go. Please to be running up the steps. Please to be running up the steps. <laughs> Chew data. Hey, how goes it? Um, I'm, you know, we're going well. Uh, I got the daughter, and I've got, um, I got Brandon. Um, we're in here just. Brandon and I are waxing, uh, waxing philosophic about uh, the original, the original D1. Uh, this is actually um, <coughs> my daughter's first. <coughs> first experience with um with d1 so it's been a lot of fun re uh, rediscovering the game through her eyes um apart from that it's been been a pretty decent monday doing all right how about you how are you doing chew data oh here we go hydra hydra Let's reload, please. I got caught oh. on a shank. Ow. Oh, I want. I, I wasn't sure if I was seeing things. I was like, I was like, what's going on with Brandon? Hold on. I, Stop I here. Landed in the middle of Vex and fallen at the same time. Yeah, that's that that that's a bad place to be. Bad place to be, son. Bad place to be. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh. Oh my God! Where, where did all these? Wait, did we make all of these corpses of bodies? Or these? No, 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 not not these ones. Okay. <clears throat> it's meant to be to show how uh, Skolas is making it. Ah, uh, okay. Because he all killed right. literally hundreds of vex. All, all these vex. Yeah. Hey, nothing compared to Saint Fourteen. Nothing exactly. compared to Saint Fourteen. Is Saint Fourteen D two only, or is he in D one? I think he's mentioned. He's not in D1, but he's mentioned. He's in mentioned in stuff, D1. Yeah. I was uh. house judgment scribe. I stood with Skolas for more. Because his helmet is still an yeah. exotic. Now, yeah. I stand with you in judgment of Wolfkill. That feels. Oh. I know oh my this god, place. this one, the terminus. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm having, I'm having really bad flashbacks of this. Yep. Oh my god, the, the amount of You can of jump time. better now, just remember that. Yep, thank you. Bless your cotton socks, my friend. Bless your cotton socks. I'm not gonna make it. N oh my god, you Goomba stomped me into my first, um, into the first double jump, so I couldn't double jump again. <laughs> Sorry. I'll wait for you guys here. God, I... platform change? Yeah, no. That yeah. was static. Your dad your dad is also your dad is also going through some <laughs> my PTSD. Yeah. So so chat, back in the back in the D one days, yes, my I didn't find out until shortly before I wouldn't actually say about maybe four months before Destiny two came out, that I've been playing Destiny one for over a year Jesus. and a half, maybe two years oh, without so knowing a jump mechanic. I mean, it was just, it was, it was that, it was that, that, uh, that messy. So when it came to jump mechanics with, th with, uh, with this, I mean, this type of thing would, would be a nightmare for me. It would be an absolute nightmare for me. Now let's close. see if I can do it without dying. Don't say it. Oh no, I'm going to dare it. I'm going to dare it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I actually did it. I actually That's fucking first, did it, sure. chat. Oh my god. You are here to, to witness this, chat. This is history, guys. This is history. Clip that. Clip that shit. <laughs> it's so anticlimactic, but it's still really... it's good. <laughs> You're not gonna be able to get this smile off my face, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Even Chew Dad is like, oh my god, I'm having flashbacks. I'm like, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Destiny 1, you know, it's funny. When I look at Destiny 1, 
I don't think they actually made Destiny 2 easier. They just made it more accessible. Which I don't think is the same as 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 being as being easier. He's but immune! I, I, oh my god. Oh, yeah. You we put gotta the kill bubble. Skolas first. Oh right. What you say about my mom? No. Oh, never mind. <laughs> my bubble's gone because I died. Ooh. Stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive, kiddo. Stay alive, kiddo. Yeah. I'm up at 10. Dun. 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 Ah, this score. Forget about it. Oh, the, the, but the Taken King score. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The House of Wolves is broken. There it is. Stand by for a transmission. Guess who we're capturing for the Prison of Elders. Yep, yep. Queen of the Awoken. Guardian. When you first came in search of the Black Garden, I thought of you as just another moat of light, too far from its traveler. I see now that I was wrong. Accept my thanks, and the promise of a fitting reward. Mm. Petra, bring Skolas to- Is it the kind of reward that Shaq's got? Bow chicka, bow, bow. Oh no, Chew Dada, it was Marasov and Shax. Let's get it on. Sugar, let's get it on. Vlog? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with me loving you. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Timeline is collapsing. <laughs> no kidding, chat. I would I hated that that jump challenge. That jump challenge constantly. Ch oh God, man! They were some of them were really bad in D1. Yeah, yeah. But that was the thing. D1. Now that I'm playing it again, I'm like, I'm like, I'm remembering that it was it was really challenging. And yeah. And I mean, it's and that possible it's because you're under leveled for a lot of stuff. And because we're still in the yeah. ranking, like that's true. Leveling that's true. up stuff. But I would, but I would also say that it's, it's um. I I think one one of the things though that that, it was, I think it was both Destiny's. You know, it was it was it was Destiny's plus and its minus, and it, you know, is that is that it was it was a challenge, and and then there was the um the whole the whole the whole concept of there were certain weapons when you met people in the Crucible you met people at the tower. Um, of course, you'd rather meet them at the tower because they're not shooting at you. But um, but you know they they would have the weapons that really, you know, had had an impact. Ne uh, the um, the 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 um, um, necrochasm necrochasm. I'm yeah. blanking. I, I almost said the neuromancer, and I'm like, no, that's a that's a that's a novel. Um, close enough. But the you know you had the, and I almost said, or, and if I wasn't saying that, I was going to say necronomicon, which is uh, which is again that's Lovecraft. <laughs> but um. Close. But but when you but when you talk about like you know the necromancer when you talk about the steel medulla when you talk about those weapons, I didn't have a problem with it because I was like, well, those are things that are out of my that are out of my reach. And then when I started going into D two, I said, that's what I want to be at. I want to be at, at, at a point where those weapons are in my reach, which is why I feel like I pushed myself harder in D two than I did in D one. Um, and rerunning it, it's just been fun because I'm just like, oh, what, what, what weapons can I try getting that I didn't get the first go round? So, I, yeah, there's, there, there's some, there's some good fun in going back. I, I will say it's also a lot easier to keep track of everything in D2 because of the yes. collections and triumphs. And yes, stuff. yes, 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 and oh my God, yes, I would lose track so easily of all the different stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I actually think I got more weapons and capabilities in D1, but then again, uh, D2, time I had a kid. Well, you know, Chew Dada, when you become a dad, the thing you get, the thing you cross your fingers with is, the, the thing you cross your fingers with when you become a dad is that 
you're around long enough to find a game like with Nick and his dad, I'm sorry, with Nick and his son, Brandon, and with me and my daughter, Sonny, is that we can do this together. And I remember when I first introduced Sonny to D Destiny, she wasn't, he was like, eh, you know, not my, not my jam. Okay. okay. And then it was our, just, no, our, our first game was technically Skylanders. Oh, no, no, no. Our first game together was Skylanders, but I was trying to introduce you to Destiny and you, you, uh, you, you, you didn't get into it. You were, that's when you were really deep into Minecraft. But then Sonny had friends. We all still are. And yes, exactly. Yes. And <laughs> and while Sonny is still is still very much into Minecraft, she made friends who got her into Destiny, and then we started running together. And it's yeah, it's been fun. So I mean, that's what you have to look forward to, True Data, is that you know is that you'll find a game that both you and your 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 progeny will enjoy together. Um, oh, that's cool. That's very cool. That's very cool. All right. Oh, uh, so where are we at here? Uh, do we need to go back to talk to Petra? I believe we have to go back and talk yes. to Petra. Yes. All right. Let's go back and talk the to usual. Petra. Yep. Yep. Ooh. Where did you now? Where did you pick that one up? Is that that, that was a Rise of Iron one, wasn't it? That emblem you're you're rocking. Yeah, it's from the uh, the Triumph book. Oh, okay. Oh my God. I haven't. Even, I, haven't I can re I can reclaim some of the stuff yeah. from it apparently. Hi, cat. How are you? Let me see if I can reclaim any stuff from there. You should you should be able to grab the emblems from uh the Age of Triumph stuff too. Like I yeah, I can grab the all in all one, which is for getting the level six, which is right before the T shirt. Yeah, I never got the T shirt, sadly. I never got yeah. the T shirt. Oh wait. I never got sleep. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but you got the T shirt. Yeah, because I, I I needed three more triumphs or something, and then I had to to grind the crucible quests for each class to ah. finish up just just enough to get to the t-shirt that's funny that's funny which is ridiculous it's the only reason i have all three blank the blank of ages uh right ones. right a glorious hunt Ooh. and i'm very glad that uh mayhem was active that week Hey! Oh, the Vest. I know that sidearm. The yeah, the Vestian <laughs> Dynasty. Oh my God. Thank you, Guardian. Oh, now there. Hell is in chains, and I can't wait to get back in the field. The Queen and her Awoken are in your debt. Now, if I remember correctly, this is it. That was, and that was it for. Uh, that, that should be the end of. That should be the end of Wolves. Yeah. For the reef. So. Vestian Dynasty. Oh my god. Sidearm. Can't believe it. Oh my god, it's got like actually good perks. The <laughs> Arc damage, reserve ammo. Ascend. In increases the attack value of this weapon. The highest available for year one. Yeah, sure, why not? All right. We'll rock the Vestian Dynasty for a while. Sure, let's do it. And uh, let's see. We go over to Varix. Feeling much better after therapy writing less than a five-hour nap. Very nice. Well done. We have acquired a treasury. A tre treasury? A treasure key. Treasury. <laughs> Consume to receive House of... Uh, Judgment reputation. So you literally just want to use it in your inventory? Oh, well, we can do that. Yep. Hold on, I'm still. Oh, Queen's here. Wrath and uh, House of Judgment are two different uh, things. Complete bounties for Petra and the Reef on behalf of the Queen, and then defeat enemies in the Prison of Elders to gain no notoriety within the House of Judgment. Yes. Well, then come up here. Come up here. There we go. Oh, can see, okay. Can do that as well. All right. So I got my resources here. All right. What? Okay, I am ready. Oh, that's fantastic, Cat. Well done. Well done. Glad to see you're you're making some progress. That's that's good. That's really good. Isn't Taken King next? 
I believe I believe yes and I think so yeah 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 um I can't think of anything else that we need to do here because we're all we're all pretty yeah, much because it was uh dark below dark below house of wolves taken king and then rise yeah. of iron right did you need to take a break uh sunny did you need to get like a water or anything like that before we started um I can just eat after it's okay you sure you don't want to grab? Gonna... You sure you don't want to grab a quick bite? This first mission is a wild ride. Yeah, so. it's a wild ride. Um. Yeah. No. I'll, I'll wait until after. Okay. <laughs> this this is how I know I've I've raised I've raised a gamer, because she she she's just like, no, <laughs> food food is for the weak. <laughs> one more game. Just one more game. Just one more game. Oh yeah. yeah. So T the em the emblem I'm using now. Right. I don't know if I. It's, let me see if I. It's even for got that. level six in the Age of Triumph book. So Age of Triumph. Let me open this up. Yep. Um, hold X to break seal. And <laughs> yep. No, I never even got to level six. I think you can wow. still get the triumphs for it. Yeah, I got up to level four. Comet's yeah. heart. Um, Again, I don't think you were as dedicated at the time. No, I wasn't. I was trying to do it out of spite because I was being a dick. <laughs> Why? Because I wanted the shirt. Yeah, getting mm -hmm. the shirt. Getting the shirt was a was a. Yeah, so this is what I had. I I mean, I I completed fifty seven percent of it. But yep. like story. I have a hundred. Yeah, yeah. Storied past. It's not completely oh. actually finished. But and and you, you want to talk about the you want to talk about how uncommitted i was because see this this chat i would have l i would have never what did you miss all right storied past taken more? six out of seven yeah, yeah yeah so so it'd be out of that page you just missed one thing and i think it was yeah. taken war right yeah yeah hold the line complete no surrender you you didn't finish the taken king that's the weird part i'm like i thought i had or at least the summoner circle mission yeah that's so weird i yeah, but then like I know, regicide is the last mission. Yeah, I've done regicide. I've done it like tw yeah. I, I did it like two but or three. Yeah, weird. that's a summoner circle, which is so weird. That is okay. All right. Well, Odd. Yeah, yeah. But I'm looking at some of the things that I didn't complete. I I would have completed. <laughs> I have I have only done four nightfall strike. The, yeah. Wait, four nightfalls. Which which one is which one is nightfall? Uh, it's under strikes. Under strikes. It's a separate thing. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Hunt, a hunter's way, Titan's will, Warlock's path. See, I would have, I would have done, I would have finished a hard lesson in the mysterious path. The, the, the current guy, the cur the current, the current yeah. Uh, guardian. Yeah, no, done. that's what I had to do. Like, yeah. it, I had everything else in each uh, class thing, and then, in order to get just enough to get the shirt, I had to do the crucible quests for each class. Because that would finish the page right. and the triumph itself. So I get two nodes, which would be just enough. I had to do all three in order to get the shirt. Because I hadn't, didn't have time to do trials. Because it was almost over, the event. Um, I couldn't do any of the raids. And then a lot of the collections were just not working. Yeah. So it was, it was close for me. But you did it. But you did it. That's, yeah. that's the thing. You did it. You did it. I wonder why... That 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 is odd that it didn't it didn't pick that up. But oh well. Look at this. Maybe we could do it now. Yeah, why not? Uh, next time. Uh, next time. <laughs> uh, Rev three dude gifting yet another sub to No Cats. So No Cats, what do you get with that sub? While well, you get uh, access to the um, to the um, Twitch sub lounge in my uh, in my Discord, you also get a blurp walk on sound effect so that when you next time you come into the stream. You'll have a walk-on sound effect that you can use to announce your presence coming in here. Uh, you also get all of Tier 1 uh, tier one emotes and all that. And uh, you also get my gratitude. I really do appreciate it. And currently, uh, I'm going to say that's pushing us really close to our weekly goal. Um, uh, the weekly goal hasn't changed. We were real close to it last week. I'm going to put uh, set it again for this week. But um, I'm looking to get 110 subs and 3,100 follows. And right now, as I'm waiting for the uh, display, there we go. I am sitting at three follows away from 3,100 follows. 
and three subs away from uh, 110, uh, 100, 110 uh, subs. So it's three on three. That, that's where we're sitting at right now. So we'll just we'll just have to wait and see how this how this plays out this week. All right. Um, yeah, we are going to uh, kick off with the Taken King. Oh wait, I did want to change my. I did. I just want to do one little cosmetic thing. Um, yeah, can't stop the signal was the was the uh, emblem they gave out for Twitch uh, Twitch subscribers. I'm gonna go ahead and pop in Comet's Heart because I remember. Oh, was that. it? I literally didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would rather. I would rather. Like now, I have I'd rather. I'd rather have your. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I would much but rather have that one though. That's a. That's a. That's a beautiful yeah. emblem. It you earned that. A lot of sleepless nights. <laughs> uh, I'm sure. Okay, so what are they saying? I. So now, what are they saying? I need to do on the moon? Oh, interesting. What? See, this was the this was something that I think was it might have been a hiccup in in the D one interface. It's saying that I need to do the Shadow Thief for House of Wolves. No, no, no. That just means it's part of House of Wolves. Oh, okay. Oh, it's yeah. a level. It's a, it means it's, a, yeah, it's something from that expansion. Right, right. It's a strike. It's basically a strike. Yeah, like if you look at Crota's End, it has the Dark Below above it. Yeah. Yeah, you're because right. Because it was from Dark Below. Yeah. Okay. Yep. 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 Okay. I also like how all the, some of the story missions were optional. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Crota's End. Oceans of Storm's Moon. Level 30 raid. He waits in the dark below. Yeah. We should all do right. that. Oh, yeah. We should get some people together and definitely do that. I remember I, I, the, the one time I did it, I did it with Z. And it was a blast. It was mm -hmm. an absolute blast. Oh, shoot. What? I completely forgot. The Undying Mind. On Mars. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> it's, its, it's its own strike from D1, I remember. Yeah. All right. Are you all set? Here we go. We're going to start off the Phobos. with Phobos. Welcome, Sonny, to the Taken King. Eyes emoji. Mm. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go on ahead and uh, pause this real quick. Before that day, there had never been a ghost. There had never been a guardian. I don't know much about the Traveler, but I know it made me to bring you back. And I spent a really, really long time searching for you. A Cosmodrome? Not the first place I looked. As I saw the other ghosts find their guardian, and the centuries went by, I wondered if I'd ever find you. I remember everything about the day I was born. I still bear the scars. Hmm. The Awoken. Oh, yeah. Family now. Just sit back and brace yourself, Sonny. And I am their queen. This, this is pretty epic. This is pretty freaking epic. I said, hmm, because they're using, like, Fallen-style Kells, like, yeah. thingy, catches, whatever. Because mm -hmm. House of Judgment, they're allied with them. Yeah. I forgot how badass this, this scene is. <laughs> yeah. And there's Aldrin. Being a bitch. No, he's actually doing the right thing this time. Yeah. But he's still a bitch. <laughs> she's not wrong. No, she's not wrong. We fought to keep our beautiful creation safe. And now this beast has come. Claiming to be king. Marasal bows to no one. We know those three. <laughs> oh, that's right. Stinky yeah. witches. What are they? What exactly are they doing here? Just keep watching, hun. Just keep watching. Oh, it's the taken balls. Not quite. 
They're just they're they're just super missiles. The taken weren't a thing until Oryx was around. Yeah. You and I know how this ends. We've known since you escaped from that pit. have played their part. This was all part of the plan. Guide them, my hidden friend. It is all up to you now. That image, that image of the hole in Saturn's ring and the dreadnought just smack dab in the middle of it. Yeah. What, what, what a cinematic that is. That's just gorgeous. I remember it was me. I think it was me. Was there four of us watching it in real time? It was you, me. It was either you, me, and, and your dad or you, me, your dad, and Nobilis Reed. And we were all watching. I have no idea. Uh, I don't even know if I was there for the beginning of Taken King. I know I played around, but I think this was before um, my dad and I had two different PlayStations. Yeah. I I just I just remember it was the three of us and Reed. Okay, so Nick Nick also remembers the three of us and Reed, and we okay. were all, we were all just like, I mean I remember when when it faded to black. I just remember we were all just like, wow. Yeah. And, then, and then here we go. And then here we go. Yeah, Randy, I, I know, right? I know, right? This is Commander Zavala. And keep in mind, this game, this this particular version, uh, is coming up on six years old. It holds up really well. It's a gorgeous game. We're setting down on Phobos now. And this is where, even though we have seen the Taken up to this point already, we haven't seen the Taken until until. You know, you just gotta. When we play this, you play it as this if this is when they're actually introduced. Yeah, when we're actually introduced to them, and it's yeah. like this is the first time we meet the Taken. Now, the Taken King. And here we go. Oh, look at that sky. Wait, look. so Mara didn't technically die during that, yeah? Or did she? Yeah, you know, that's the. That's well, we the... see her in D two. Yeah, but we didn't find that out until Forsaken. True. I mean, look at she look at that. She was gone for the rest of D1. Yeah. Oh, hello. But you you, you, you you come o you come over you come over this re and you and you see Mars in the distance like that. It's just beautiful. also this. There's the Cabal dude like literally crawling and begging for mercy. Oh, I missed that. Zavala. I was too busy looking at Mars. Yeah, me too. <laughs> torn up down here. It's so weird thinking what the Cabal wanted with Phobos. Yeah. What did they want? I don't know if it was just another firebase. They had a plan, but I don't know. See? They're dead. <laughs> even though I know I this... I feel bad for them, though. Exactly. Yeah, even though I know this mission, even though I know what's going on, at the same time... Oh, you can I'm scan like, here. Yeah, I was gonna say. You, you, there's there's a sense of, there's a sense of excitement. Yeah. There are no other guardians here. 
And also, you know, horrendous <laughs> just dread. Oh yeah, exactly. It's the same kind of feeling you get, like when, like when you, you know. Oh, this line, this line. I thought there was more to the shoot. But yeah, knowing that like there's suddenly just this new, imminent threat. Yeah. This was the first ever different faction introduction. Introduction. Pretty much. And the only ever one because it's just been variations since then. Toland, the fuck are you doing here? I heard that. What the hell was That's that not Toland. <laughs> what the hell is this? Wait, this. <laughs> I don't remember that for the first okay. time. I don't I remember do. that. I do. But I do remember seeing that. That, yeah. that, that. that little bit of neutrino energy and this. And I'm like, alright, what the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? Mm -hmm. Eris was going through a lot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez, I just got chills. <laughs> yeah, this mission is horrifying. They speak a word. A name. Crota. No, I don't think oh. it's Crota. He is here. Never mind. Give your to me. Are you... No. Word of Oryx. There we go. How about no? The you have seen his face. It was his hand that transformed the Kapal. This mission is scrubbed. Guardian, get to your ship and get out of there. Yeah, anything that makes anything that makes that makes someone as 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 big and as ballsy as uh, Zaval say, get out of there. You're like, oh, okay, something has hit the fan pretty hard. this way oh yep 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 it's a running get out of here mission yeah mm -hmm. sorry i'm picking up ammo we have reports of these e i'm coming i'm coming i'm coming get out. fuck i got stuck hello there oh i remember this Oh shit! <laughs> Wait, can you actually? Oh, you can see it land. Yep. Yeah, that's another thing I like about D1. Uh, oh, oh, we go yeah. down. Oh, we gotta go down anyway. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh my God! Stop running. Shouldn't have done that.
Alright, now shut up and watch. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> It explodes. Oh, I was gonna no, say no. something explodes. Shh, shh, shh. Just wait. There's, there, there's, there's it's, more. It's, I think it's after this. Yeah, it's after this. I was gonna say, doesn't Phobos explode? Lol. <laughs> I only had nine kills. I, I beg to differ, but okay, whatever game. <laughs> I was hitting Sucks, a lot. Doesn't it? Uh, yeah, it does. <laughs> All right. I think it. I think it plays now. There's a cutscene. There is. A, yeah. Oh, here we go. Ship. All right. Quiet on the green. Contacts near Saturn say the weapon fired only once. It's not like the Queen to attack a superior force. How could she have known? How could anyone? We need a warlock inside the Dreadnought. Here we go. Our first priority <laughs> must be to protect the city. Our Guardian got a good look on Phobos. Whatever it was, it turned Cabal against Cabal, wiped out their base in minutes. How long would we last? Until we understand what we're dealing with. They are taken. Eris, get your rock <laughs> off my map. We haven't <laughs> spoken since Crota fell. It speaks now because Oryx has arrived. Come to fulfill the final covenant of his son. But why fight the Cabal? Not fighting. Taking. Controlling their will. So we focus on his army. Kill these taken until he's all that's left. Whatever you kill, Oryx will replace. The Dreadnought, then. How do we get past that weapon? Without ending up like the Awoken. I gotta go, uh, see about a ship. Kate. Our discussion is not <laughs> Oh, I know. That's why I'm leaving. <laughs> Zeklis, welcome to chat. Didn't want to say anything because that is one of the greatest cutscenes they've ever done. Oh, 100%. I mean, I mean that's... What, what, just so you know, Zeklis, uh, my daughter has never... Uh, gone through D one, so uh, so I'm 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 I wouldn't say shripping. I'm just reliving the experience with her, and uh, Brandon, who is also part of the um, of the podcast that we do together, Happy Hour from the Tower. He's joined us tonight, and I mean, in all in that scene, you find out you find out something about everybody in that moment. I mean, right down to Cade's sort of swagger, like when he. Like he doesn't just throw the ball. He doesn't throw the orb back to back to um, uh, back to Eris. He gives this underhook, you know, like like a, you know, he's 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 like he's like I got something I need to do, and I just, oh, I love that scene. I love that scene, and it comes out of the box swinging. So it's ten o'clock right now. Um, I'm okay with getting in one more mission, and then. Um, we all right yeah but no more all right no more i promise i promise 
She's the responsible one in the family chat. You know, make no bones about it. She's the responsible one. Something like no, that. No, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> all right. So let me just see real quick. Um, just want to make sure. So the yeah. We so we talk we, we got to go then. talk to Cade. Got to go talk to. Are you, are you going to be okay with that, Brandon? <laughs> I'll manage. <laughs> okay, <good. Cries. laughs> you think I won't? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. So, uh, welcome to stream, everybody. You're gaming with a team monster. You can call me T. You can call me Team Monster. You can call me Twitch Dad. Um, tonight is Retro Monday, where I'm guiding my my daughter uh, through D1 for the first time, and this is her first time through the Taken King, and this has been this this should be fun. This should this should be fun. Um, D1 up to this point, I think was a solid game. But the Taken King really was kind of they, the when we say that Forsaken was Destiny 2's Taken King, this is what we're talking about. And um, <laughs> you heard begging Phil for just one more. I hear that. I yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. All right, hang on. That's what we got. I got an encrypted engram. I'll check that. Actually, let me go and check out these engrams. Let me just get these decoded, encoded rather. I'll give you a look at the hamsters, I think. There you go. Oh, almost time to see that one go. Be sure you know your favorite dog. Okay, still, one moment. Still, yeah. still getting purples and greens. Yeah, I, 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 Nick is absolutely right. Taking King was when the folks at Bungie realized how that they had they had Fillion, they had Nathan Fillion in their ranks. And they're like, we've got to we've got to lean into that, and they did. Nathan, is that? Uh... That was the voice of Cade. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to your respective vanguards. They have a uh, quest for you. Ah, the Stormcaller's path. Yep. Yep. I have a spark of light now. Yep. I can just collect it. Yeah, a spark of the shadow. I I may be doing that later. Ooh. <laughs> I may be doing that. I later. feel like it's legally required for me to unlock Sunbreaker for my mm. dad. <laughs> <laughs> so he can see me throw hammers. Absolutely. Now more than ever. All right, here we go. It's not the getting in. It's the getting out. I need you. Eris, I would be afraid of the dark if it wasn't offering me a really cool trace rifle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. And stasis. I mean, like, it seems like the right way to go. I got a plan. All right. We need a stealth drive. I've got one hidden in the... Okay. What are you looking at? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I'll contact you in the Cosmic Trunk. <laughs> Night soccer eyes emoji. Yes. I picked up a spark of light and it's now just stuck in my inventory. I believe the spark of light helps you jump in in levels to 25 to yeah. 25. Yeah. I yeah. might you just could make put it in your character. vault and use it for yeah. another character, yeah. Yeah. All right. I okay then. You in the vault. So, so we're gonna go and uh, oh, I have an Atheon's epilogue in the vault, and I didn't even notice. <laughs> Level twenty-seven. Let's go. And wow, whoa! How about this, Dragon Wolf, subscribing for tier one. Twelve months, one year. Wow, Dragon. That's crazy. That is nuts. That is freaking nuts. I am, I am, and thank you very much for pushing us. We are now only two subs away from the weekly goal of 110 subs. So thank you all for the, for the support you're showing tonight. You're absolutely killing it. I really do appreciate it. Um, thank you. Thank you. And, and Draken, thank you. Hard to believe it's been a year. It does not feel like it's been a year, but thank you. Uh, right now you are coming in and uh, watching me. 
uh, with uh, the kiddo, with my daughter, uh, and, uh, and my, my cohort from one of my cohorts from Happy Hour from the Tower, Brandon. The three of us, we are uh, we just started the Taken King. And we are about to go into, I believe we're going to the Cosmodrome for, uh, for Kate's yes. stash. Okay. Cosmodrome. Let's do it. Let's hit, let's hit the Plot Cosmodrome. Plot twist. I'm the daughter. <laughs> Talk to what? Plot twist. I'm the daughter. <laughs> Daddy's not here to help you. Oh, I'm my own daddy now. Come again? What? <laughs> <laughs> if you guys haven't seen that, you need to do a search for Uber Eats commercials Mark Hamill, Patrick Stewart, they lean in hard into the whole oh, Star Trek, Star only Wars. Go well, have you seen them? Have you seen them? <laughs> no. Oh my God, they're epic. They are so it's epic. It's really epic. funny. It. <laughs> oh my God, they are so freaking epic. Uh, to give you an idea, after we watched it, <coughs> I turned to I turned to Pip and I said, "What a great time to be alive." <laughs> 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 All right, here we go. Here we go. There's no crying game DLC on any of them. I know, right, Draken? I know. Oh, you missed it. We were doing the, um, we were just doing, Draken, the um, House of Wolves campaign uh, where you basically go into part of the Vault of Glass and you had those, 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 those towers that you had to hop around. Oh, my God. How do you know it's still there? You better hope it's there. You won't survive the dreadnought without it. <clears throat> and um here comes the jump puzzle. Oh, that's right, the radio tower. They started strong with <laughs> Taken King and then it takes takes us 4 hours to complete this mission. Yeah. <laughs> this is a really good mission though. The, oh yeah, yeah. This will be a great one to end, end, end the night on. Yeah. Let me guess. Four arms, wear cloaks, smell real bad. Taken. Thought we'd have more time. Oh, this is where you start dead. getting the the Cade. Cade. <laughs> he starts. He starts getting. Into that, he starts getting into that rhythm. Yeah. This is where he becomes. You know, Cade. Our little comedic relief. Yep. He, he truly shows as a hunter, is really the way I would put it. Hopefully that helped a bit. If it didn't, give me a sec. Not really, because I'm on zone. Here, hold up. Catch! Oh, ah, good that, that grenade could have gone better. There we go. It's weird shooting the Vestian Dynasty and have the enemies exploding in the arc. <laughs> Alright. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. This is where the where Oryx starts trying to go after the Fallen. Yeah. But that does... Oh, wait, no. He d does, does he take Fallen? Or no? I don't he, think he does. He takes everything. Yeah. <laughs> The Devil's Lair. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Sonny, there's Taken Vandals and Taken Captains, remember? Oh, yes. I'm really smart. That's <laughs> alright. Because Vandals vandals do nothing but bubble. Oh, yes. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> They're like uh, hobgoblins where they just kind of keep going. Their abilities never actually run out. Yeah. But uh, Draken, the other, uh, the last time we did this, we actually introduced uh, my daughter to um, the Omnigal. Okay, she had them. never heard of the Omnigal. Well, she'd heard of the Omnigal, so but she never met the Omnigal until that she's night. She's not nearly as difficult in D2. No. Because she's no. a nightmare. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Draken, exactly. Oh, God. Uh, 
Aha. Aha. Never mind. Here they come. Everyone take their own separate elevators. <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances the elevator still works? Hi, Tree. Howdy. Howdy. Hello. Bye bye. Here we go. Hey, when's the last time you rode this elevator? Relax. Works fine. But stand by for a resurrection ghost. <laughs> So many good memories, man. So many yeah. good memories. You know I was here looking for you when the first fallen crews came through. It started with one skip. A few months later, the Cosmodrome was there. The Taken had done it in hours. Can we get to the top already? Jeez. <laughs> How do we find your stealth drive? There's a bridge from the tower to the ship. Took me days to get it working. It's a little unstable, so watch your step. Cade, someone moved the bridge and destroyed the control. There's a... Uh, yeah, that's a fallen. Oh my god! I never rest. noticed that before. Yeah, he marks a lot of his stuff with cards in this mission. It's really yeah. interesting. Oh my god. Guardian, if you find the source, I can pass it. I'm fine. Wait a minute. There's something to scan around here. I think that's just them talking. Alright, let's head on up. Once you get the bridge working, my stash is in the ball. Oh, maybe you're right. We're still waiting for details on this plan of yours. It might have actually been the card. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, because I know he has dialogue about that somewhere in here. It's up there. There's a ghost somewhere uh, in this mission. Oh. Uh, there's a vandal captain? Yep. Captain, yeah. Whatever you do, don't right, look down. Hey, the bridge is already moving. Oh. I get to the top of the colony ship where I left my stash and watch yourself on that bridge. Oh, this is up where like the the shooty boys for like the ships. That's Yeah. Whee! Oh no! <laughs> we both fell for it. It's been a while. <laughs> I love it. Any advice on which way to go? <laughs> yeah. I think we're supposed to run here. Oh, that's right. Yep, yep, yep. Run up. Run up. No. Oh, it's all coming back to me. Oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. Is this the door? Watch Oh, it. <laughs> I might have just Goomba stomped you. Sorry. <laughs> You know the store, though. I do. I do. <laughs> Woo! My daughter almost did it to me again. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what happened? I think so. Yeah, I Goomba stomped you. We got oh, our little what? crouchy bit. Oh uh, yeah, we got a crouch here. We got a crouch. Yo, Isolda! Oh my God, Isolda Trachtenberg with with that follow. 
Isolde, what if I want dog? Isolde like, and I go back quite a ways, chat. She has she has all the she has all the photographs from when I was at the Ren Fair, <laughs> and just recently I I've been I've been on her on her podcast not once, but twice. Both times the interview went over three hours because I give good interview. Isolda, how are you? Good evening. Welcome to my stream. It is so nice to have you in stream. It looks pretty. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Oh, it's oh, it's a gorgeous view. It's I really gorgeous. hope you can come here in Beyond Light. Oh, wouldn't it be nice? See this Angie, all, uh, if we don't see this all remastered. What what what, what if Cade secretly like if if we do then what if Cade like we get like a signal ping here to us and then like we come here and there's like a, an exotic up here or something. I'm sure there will be. I, I can is. see that happen. I can see that happen. It, I mean, it's just Ace of Spades too. But all right, or it's like a heavy weapon or something that he used. Yeah, I mean the only thing we've ever seen him use is the ace, though. Yeah. So, salute to the colonel. Uh, back this way. Back this way. Yeah, I'm just looking around. And going up. Well, as all tonight, you're seeing me on Retro Monday here at Gaming with the T Monster. <clears throat> what? I, I oh. am. Oh, hello. Uh, we're basically playing. Uh, oh, hello. Yeah. I think I might have poked. I might have popped this a little too early. But this is for. Um, this is D. This is the original Destiny, as opposed to Destiny Two. Where did you go? And that uh, that that eloquent voice you hear is my daughter. Uh, we're 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 working through uh, D D one for the first time. She has never done Destiny Year One before. And Isn't that's this doing. just um, reckoning, but not? Yeah, <laughs> I better get my spare rations. <laughs> oh my god, am I gonna get a spare ration in this run? Oh my no. god, finally! <laughs> oh, there's a there's a thing here, isn't there? There's an Easter egg to uh. Yeah. yeah. Right ah. Let me see if I can scan it. Oh, Are you sure probably you not. It's like all things. You gotta know where to look. Enter frequency five nine eight. Don't interact with it, T. Just in case, I want to see if we can get this scannable. Because it's a Halo Easter egg. That's a Halo Easter egg. What's this? Yep. You can stand here and then scan that that pod. What that pod right there? Yeah. Pull your ghost out and stand near the edge. I can't wait to hear. Pod number one zero two zero one. A guardian with exceptional light sealed himself inside. It's been in there for centuries. Before I found you, I tried to resurrect him, but he preferred to sleep. He said the last war was enough for a thousand lifetimes. Hang on. Is 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 that is that Master Chief? Yeah. Oh my God, <laughs> that's awesome. Exactly. That's awesome. I never knew that existed. I never knew that existed. It, yeah, it's subtle. Very nice. All right. Oh, hello. <laughs> <clears throat> there it is. The best hiding places are always in plain sight. Transmit it out of there. I'll get it set up. Just do me a favor. If you find anything else I've hidden, leave it for me. There'll be treasure enough for everyone on the Dread Hunt. That was their hint to look around this mission. Funny. For the um, the the Easter egg. No, when he says, uh, "Don't go looking for anything that I have," kind of thing. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So did it's we saying, like, did we miss something? No, no. I think there's like there's a like small room with a bunch of cards in there, but I don't remember if it's there or if it's if it's just other rooms hidden around the cosmodrome it is it, it is very always possible. Nice. it is always nice to 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 read this and i feel like i've been rediscovering the game because when i first played uh destiny is all that i i was kind of i was running with some folks that w wanted to just get things done and i i was rushed through it so now i feel like i'm rediscovering the game and a lot of the little details that i missed and um 
and I would agree. The, and uh, yeah, and um, Destiny actually turned, um, I believe it was six years old. It turned six. Oh, we have a, we have a cutscene. Hold on. Oh, you know this cutscene. Yeah, yeah, and I love this cutscene. So here you go. Kick back and enjoy it. And I'll I'll continue that in just a, I'll continue that talk in just a second. Quiet on the green. Hello, Mandy. Maintenance pending. Requesting visual confirmation. Yep, that's the last one. Port side. Confirmed. Interest in tech, Cade. Isn't this Eris Morn ship? Is it? Huh. <laughs> You're a true artist. Can't even see the join. Cute. But Zavala's got sign off on all launches. Need to log while I'm letting it go. Stargazing door. Okay. How about an unsanctioned op using modified stealth tech to infiltrate a dreadnought above Saturn's rings so we can knock out its weapons, create a transmat zone, and send in the cavalry. How about test flight? <laughs> I'll be waiting for you when you're ready. <coughs> Me? <laughs> well, I'm not flying that thing. What a <laughs> legendary cutscene. <laughs> I know. I know. They have, they have a lot of good ones in here. Yeah, uh, taking a lot of things good where ones. it all turned, yeah. turned to the good side. It really did. Well, they found their groove. They found they found yeah. their groove, and I mean, and everything. So, um, so <laughs> their groove was Cade. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. So, um, so Zelda, going back to your original question, this game is six years old. It still holds up really, really well. Um, obviously, there's a lot of improvements with 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 Destiny Two, which turned three years old uh, earlier this month, but. <clears throat> But this was where it all began was 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 destiny and this actually was what got me back into playing video games it started with the games that i played with sunny with my daughter and then this game was actually for me and um and the story goes is that we were we were switching platforms we were going from xbox to ps4 and um and so i put it on my christmas list and my dad always liked to go above and beyond he always liked to have the top shelf so he was super proud of himself when he got me this ps4 and it, instead of it being the, the the standard black it was it was iceberg white and um and he said yeah son that's a limited edition it comes with a game called destiny and i was like oh, that sounds great dad in the back of my mind i was like what's destiny and had my Bruh. dad had my dad not gone that extra mile i would have never i would have never even cracked into this game and i i started playing it and um and just fell in love with it and it's, it's just it's just an epic an epic game um so what i would like to do is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to <clears throat> uh, tower? i'm oh i can take us to the tower i can go ahead and take us to the tower uh is that was that the next step uh, I don't the think so. The next step is to do the, the mission. Oh, the dreadnought. dreadnought. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's save that for next week. Let's save that for next week. But I will take this. Yes. A, yes. <laughs> yes, because once we go to the dreadnought, uh, we're not we're not coming out for a while. Um, but we, we will go to the tower just to, uh, you know, sort some things out there. Um, <clears throat> um, the, the thing about the, 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 the PS4... I um I was actually graduating up to a PS Pro. Um, it is as old a T as an as old a Trachtenberg, yes. And uh, you're absolutely right, no cats. And um, uh, the funny thing is, is that I I sold the um I sold the PS4 to Nick because that became Nick's second PS uh, PSN. And then um, I think it was short. <clears throat> I think it was shortly around the time that my father started getting ill. Um, I was, uh, I was, I was, I was kind of getting, you know, nesting a lot of things that were, that reminded me of my dad. And I remember, uh, Nick was saying, 
that he was going to go on ahead and he he said um, um, or rather uh, he said he was actually graduating up to to an, to a second PS to PS4 Pro in his house and I said so what are you going to do with the PS4 that, that that you bought from me which was which was the one that my dad gave me and he said he said well I was gonna um, I was gonna of course sell it and I said I'll buy it off you again and I, this is exactly what I did and now I have it and it's it's actually I'm the, using it it's, I think. it's the one it's the one Sonny's using right now um, so while I I, I never I, it, it never it never strayed far from home and I'm, I'm glad it did I'm glad it did um, it's uh, it, because that 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 is how I always remember dad he always liked to live high he always lived high, high in the hog he always liked to live li- live first class and and um, see that that PlayStation better be your family fucking heirloom it is oh trust me it will be it will be <laughs> it will be, be there forever it's, it's going to it's going to be I'm gonna um, once we get a um, you know once we graduate up to a PS5 which will be inevitable um, it will be I'm gonna probably have a special shelf just for it in, in my office somewhere and I'll probably I'll probably put it by the um, I'll probably put it by the destiny uh, the, the the destiny shadow box with, that has the, uh, the the emblems in it I'll figure out something don't worry um, what made me switch from Xbox to PS4. So it was two things actually. Xbox at the time where where Microsoft was Xbox doing Xbox 360. Well, no, we started with that's the Xbox. That's what we started with. But what happened yeah. was we we knew we had to graduate up to a a, a a faster system because at the time Sonny and I were playing. Um, oh, this is gonna be a heartbreaker. Skylanders. No. No, you forget. We were playing Disney Infinity. Oh yeah. We had graduated from Skylanders to Disney Infinity, which you know, fight me, was a better system than Skylanders. <clears throat> Plus, you got to play. In a way. No. I can it was see a what better your argument system. is. It was a better system, and on top of that, you got to play characters from Star Wars. You got to play characters from Marvel. It was epic, and um. And the thing was, we had to graduate up to this to a new system because it just took forever to load up the uh, the, the characters when we wanted to switch over to a new character. So um, I was trying to figure out: should we go Xbox One or PS4? And what had happened was that at Microsoft at the time was making it very complicated for, to share games. You had a really tough time sharing games. You know, you, you couldn't. Whereas uh, uh, Sony released a, a video where they said. If you want to know how to share games on a PS4 system, here's how you do it. And the guy took a, took the disc, turned to his friend, and said, "Here, play my game." And the guy was like, <laughs> "Thank you, I really appreciate you sharing your game." And that was it. That it, it was just a Bruh. two. It was great. The other reason that we went with that is that PS4 uh, or PlayStation sometimes will do exclusives. The exclusive that year was a game that was called The Order 1886. And it was it was being billed as a steampunk epic, and it had such Which was potential cool at the time. Yes, it was, but man, <laughs> did they miss the mark! I to this day I use that video game as the prime example of there's a point where you throw ideas at the wall to see what sticks, but after a while you have to stop because man, um, between <laughs> exact, I mean, in, in the words of Nick, in the words of Nick. Uh, Isolde, in the words of Nick, Rev3 dude, he said, T, the mechanics in that game were so bad, I was watching you play, and I was getting frustrated for you. (laughs) Visually, it was a beautiful game. The concept was terrific, but then they just didn't stop. First you were fighting vampires, then it was werewolves, then it was bedlamites, and then it was just it just got more and more ridiculous. They were they said, Okay, we've got the we got the steampunk Bible. Let's throw in every convention of steampunk and not tie it in in any way whatsoever. So for but but the thing was is that that was a PSN exclusive. And I said, Well then that's that that tears it. That's the one I'm gonna get. <clears throat> The upswing, though, of getting PS uh, of getting the PS4 was that the rest of the exclusives after that were exceptional games. I mean, you're talking about Detroit Become Human. 
You're talking about God of War. You're talking about The Last of Us Parts 1 and 2. And I mean, when there and and I didn't play the there was a there was one that I didn't play that was a, that was an exclusive. It was um um Marvel Spider-Man. And Marvel Spider-Man was supposed to you be You still haven't played that? I still haven't played well, I don't have time. I don't have time. <laughs> but because you know, I mean, I'm and and between that, you know, I just it, 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 that was why I made the jump, and um, and uh, yeah, uh, the rest is history. The rest is history. Um, so, so yeah. Um, all right. I've uh, let's see. I'm taking a look at my Sunbringer tree. Was there anything else that I wanted to do before? Let's see. I wonder if I should go back to developing Void Walker again just to give it a break. But no, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I think these are these are all my highest powered um, pieces. Well, I am going to dip if right. that is okay. No, that's fine. I'm I'm, I'm also I'm ready. grabbing food. Good. Go ahead and grab some food. You need to get some get some food in your system. Um, Thermal, thanks for joining us tonight. We will obviously we will be yeah. back. We will be back next week. Uh, with another with another retro Monday, but uh, I really appreciate both of you being here. Thanks a lot, you two. Um, <clears throat> I will, I will now go on ahead and um, uh, close up the. Yeah, I'll leave. I'll leave the fire. That, that's what I. Sorry, that's that's what I like about this. Um, in D, in D one, like you don't have to like ask to like leave the yeah oh, well you have to ask but like you don't have to like do like a timer to wait you don't have to go to orbit you can just you can just leave you, yeah. you, you, you can you can scoot if you want to but yeah. uh thanks a lot you two you guys have a great night okay yeah and uh and thanks okay. again good night Ew. so chat um uh, i'm not gonna leave just yet i'm gonna uh hang out and wait uh just uh, <clears throat> just uh just give a give a little bit of um a little bit of uh, end, end of end of the evening commentary. Thank you all very much for joining us tonight. This was uh, really a lot of fun. Um, it was it. You know, I mean, I, I I feel like I'm reconnecting with Destiny again. Um, one of the reasons why we we're, we're turning back to D1 is also because we're at that point where we're we're cruising between uh, the end of Shadowkeep and the beginning of Beyond Light, which is coming in November. Ironically, which is also coming around the same time as the thir as the fourth edition of Podcasting for Dummies. Been meaning to find a time to to, to mention this. Um, Podcasting for Dummies, the fourth edition, will be coming out in November. I believe they said November tenth. They've moved it back a month because there were some uh, there were some last minute issues that we had to take care of, and we did. They're all they're all they're all solid, but um. Yeah, I know exactly right. So if you want to um, if you want to launch a uh, a podcast with uh, with with the launch of Beyond Light, you're more than welcome to. But uh, anyway, that is <clears throat> thanks thanks Bear. I am putting your jacket here okay, and I appreciate you that. Grab food. Yes, please grab food. Please grab food. Um, one of the other things I've noticed too is that man, time flies when you're playing this game. <laughs> All right, so let me do a quick refresh, and then I'm going to see. Who is? Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Um, please tell me. She, yes. Okay. So I'm gonna send you guys over. I'm gonna send you lovely, lovely people over to Mar de Chaos. She is a uh, uh, a um, a streamer out of Mexico, and she is currently streaming Phasmophobia. Now, the reason why that is significant is because I recently tried out that game. Um, and to put it in my own words, I made a scream that I don't think I could reproduce. And um, and uh, it was... So what is Phasmophobia? Let me, let me go ahead and explain it. First off, I do a, uh, a gameplay review here. So you're more than welcome to check that, but I got it. But I, but I'm going to give the I'm going to echo the warning that we gave at the very beginning. Um, there is some adult language in this, and I will also tell you 
that um, not only is there adult language in it, uh, there are grown ass adults in it that are screaming bloody murder. And when you see the game, you'll understand why. Um, it's a uh, it's it's a crazy intense game, and we we hated it so much. We're doing it again Thursday night at ten thirty. Uh, I am a guest on Phil Rossi's Scream Stream, and we will be doing this uh, this incredible experience of, of Phasmophobia. Phasmophobia in the game it is uh, optimized for virtual reality, but you can play it on PC, and you go on a ghost hunt. It is a co-op ghost hunt that you do with uh, with with friends. But this is when this is a ghost hunt where things go bad quickly. <laughs> So we are going to raid Mard to Chaos uh, because I've been telling her about this game and I really just, I, I'm so excited that she's playing it. She also plays horror games and um, and she's she's just a delightful person. So let's, let's do this. Let's go on ahead and let's uh, set up Night Raid. And uh, what you do, chat, is you go on ahead and you, you select that text uh, and then you go on ahead, you copy paste that as soon as we get over to Mar de Chaos's channel. Um, we are we are two follows and two subs away from my weekly goal. I think we're gonna hit it this week. I'm 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 insanely optimistic. I think we're gonna do it. And it's because of you all. Thank you all so much for everything you do on this channel. Thank you for all the tips, the bits, the subs, the hosts and the auto hosts for coming in and hanging out and uh, showing your support for this channel. It it means the world to me and um, yeah, there's a lot of, um, I'm the first one to mention that, yes, there's a lot of drama llama in, uh, in, in streaming, and this is not the place for that. Um, this is a place where I want people to feel safe, where they feel welcome, where they feel like they're part of a Twitch family, of a Twitch community, and um, it, means, it means a lot to me that you all believe in this channel as much as I believe in the channel. And, and I, 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 I want to make sure that that's clear to everybody and that you're uh, and that that you look forward to evenings with me as much as I look forward to evenings with you. Thank you all so much for everything. I will see you all uh, tomorrow night, seven o'clock for Titan Taco Tuesday. And we will be in D2 and we will be finding some sort of shenanigans to get up to. Until then, you all have a great night. Take care of yourselves, everybody. Peace.